All right, we are going to go ahead and continue the mega campaign. Let me make sure my volume's good. Beautiful. All righty, so we are continuing the mega campaign. We have played, I think this will be our fourth or fifth session at this point. We have played for now around 150 years. We're getting close to the halfway point for Crusader Kings, after which we're gonna go on to EU4. Notably, the EU4 to Vicky 3 converter has been released. So for this mega campaign, we are at the point now we can get all the way through the end of Vicky 3. I believe the Vicky 3 to Hoi 4 converter is not done yet, but that is fine. So we have no need to really slow down at this point. I was a little worried about that, but looks like we're totally good. So. Let's go over where we're kind of at right now, because a lot has happened in this game. It's been very, there's, there's a lot going on. So let me let me just overview a few things very quickly. We are currently playing King Alessandro II of Sardinia y Corsica. So he is the son of uh, King Simeon, who did die at the end of last session. Uh, he is a fickle, zealous, and forgiving man. Very, very complicated. Attempts to be a good Christian, but in many ways fails at it. He's a thrifty clerk, an eager reveler, an architect, a crusader, and a poet. He, of course, did fight in the crusade with his father and brother in the third crusade to take Iberia. Notably, his brother was given the kingdom of Andalusia. So his brother is now much stronger and much more powerful than he is. They're both getting kind of older now. He has a kingdom of his own, the ancestral one of his family, but if we're going to be honest, it's nothing like that of his brother's who is truly a crusader king. Um, he has 16 diplo, nine martial, 12 stewardship, six intrigue, and seven learning. He's an all right guy, but he's not amazing. And at 44, he's uh, he's gonna really struggle to load up the, to the uh, to what his ancestors have done. Now he is married to Queen Andalina of, uh, she was from the Lombardy family. She's a giant, deceitful, callous, and gregarious, an intricate web weaver with very high intrigue, odd for a woman of her size and stature, but still. We have two children, Prince Alessandro, our firstborn son and heir, who is also a giant like our wife. He is zealous, honest, paranoid, a tough soldier. He's all right, he's fairly competent, but it's not amazing. And he, uh, he is married to a princess of the Holy Roman Empire. So we've got some very good, uh, good marriage alliances for our family. So let me check something real quick. There we go. Um, and then let's see, we have a daughter as well, who is only seven, Princess Sarah, who is also a giant. She is rowdy. She is very tough. We've got some very tough children. We have four siblings. We have our sister who is uh, married to, oh man, what was he? He was from Lower Lorraine. Um, we have another sister who is married to, Habsburg we have our brother who is the king of Andalusia and then we have our youngest brother Prince Eloveru who was the favorite of our father he's a very good simple Christian man very intelligent he's still at our court so he'll be he'll be around so that's currently the state of things for um House Taurus we're obviously gonna go steward we'll go for uh duty he's a he's a very Christian man he cares very much for the values of Christianity even though he doesn't always uphold them for our council, we'll make our chancellor, Jedi Gavini, uh, a man who is friends with our father and his chancellor. So he's the very experienced friend of the family who's very loyal. For our steward, we will choose Jedi Xiru, who is a member member of our family, an older one, a distant relative, like a, a cousin three times removed or something. Again, our, our island is full of house tours at this point. We've completely removed most of the other families on it. Our marshal, we will go for Jedek Gunari, who is also of our house. And then for our spy master, we will, of course, choose our wife. Where is she? Can we choose our wife? Well, perhaps we cannot choose our wife. We could choose our son's wife, ironically. We could choose our mother, uncle, or our vassal. We'll go for our vassal. She really likes it. Judesa Pellegrina. Her family would later go on to uh, found a business known for sparkling water. What's up, Trucker Nero? How are you doing, man? What's up, Note? We'll hold court in just a moment. We'll ask the Pope for some money. We'll make an alliance with our nephew. We will choose a guardian for our daughter. We will choose... ourself. 
We will recruit more knights. Actually, we don't have a lot available to us, do we? So we'll go ahead and actually invite some. We will... Let's check our council positions as well. We will choose... There's a couple. We need a Seneschal. We'll choose our friend, Melisinde. We will get a burst personal champion. Oh, can we not get one? We cannot. We'll get a bodyguard then. Our bodyguard will go for a Saeed. He was the bodyguard of our father as well. Very loyal to the family. And then we will also get a food taster, which we will make. We can make our mother or our son's wife the food taster. I don't think we'll do that. We'll, we'll go for Andali Jalear. She's, uh, she's all right. We'll go for her. Currently eating Ben Jerry has got a three for a 10 yard deal. Nice, man. Hell yeah. The big cartons are the small ass ones. Doing fine. I had great fun with the CK3 England game yesterday. Nice. I didn't have a chance to ask uh, Platypus how that went, but it looked like a lot of fun. I hope that uh, I hope that game goes well. I, I really, really want to see the CK3 games get more popular in the server. Like, man, it's a tragedy that they're not bigger. An ancient figure approaches my phone with a click and tap of his cane accompany each step. My lord, I'm a genius. I'm aware of your noble origin. However, noble is not quite the same as divine and mythical. We already had someone do this in our past. There was another who did the same for our family. So let's have that list made a little bit longer. We can, we can have that list a little bit longer. We already had documents pertaining to us being a descendant from the ancestors of Sardinia. So we need it to be a little bit more impressive. My lord, my friend Melisinde speaks up. I propose a cadastral survey of all the counties you own. Improved knowledge, mapping of your lands will certainly increase its prosperity. We're a thrifty clerk. We probably want to do that. Uh, no one knows your lands was better than me. Let me help. Yeah, we'll go for it. Expensive, but uh, we're not greedy. We're a thrifty clerk, so we, we'd want to work as an architect, too. We want to work on sort of more economic decisions. But given we're not great at it, we'd, we'd probably sometimes make not the best call. Try and make long-term calls, but... Not the wisest. The man who approaches my phone is clearly a commoner. My lord! I represent the local community of Sasari. Our cemeteries have been plagued with the disappearance of bodies, often dug up and left in no trace. At first, we feared animals, but it's your court physician. This is the court physician who has been loyal to our family for most of her life. She repeatedly saved our father from dying from his wounds sustained in the Crusades and his flagellations when he, uh, when he beat himself. So no, fuck no. We'll tell her to stop, but no. We're going to treat her very well. She's a long, long friend of the family. There's one size here in most of Europe. Damn. In America, there's multiple sizes. There's the mini ones you can get, which is like that big. There's the normal sizes, which are pretty good. And then you can get like the big tubs that are fucking massive. But I'm not surprised. What's up, Levo? Good morning to you, too. It was great. Just before the game ended, I was talking to the King of England and never vassal when I just suddenly died. Fuck. Fuck. Keel over. Any thoughts on the picture teaser for CK3? Yes. I really hope, I really hope that it is going to be an economic rework. Now, now we, let's think about what that image was. It's clearly something to deal with upgrading your demence, right? The picture was of a bridge in the mountains. Now, a bridge isn't something you typically build in a place like that with hills and mountains. It's, it's not an excess, but it's certainly odd. That makes me think, I'd hope. That they're going to give us a lot more options about like upgrading our holdings, which makes me hope and pray to anything that uh, that will listen that we're going to get an economic rework. I, I know this is an RPG, but all of us are also here for the strategy elements and the current economic system and uh, upgrading system and stuff. It's okay. It's mediocre. The CK2 one was better, and that says a lot. So I'm hoping, based on that image. And I don't, I, I'm projecting a little bit of what I want on it, but I also see it potentially there. It's going to be an economic and demands and hopefully even trade rework. Hopefully. What did you think of Olivo? What do you think, man? You're the normal size by American standards. That's fair. Yes, there, there was just released. There's now an E4 to Vicky 3 converter. After a few days, the genialist Constanzu returns. He unfurls a scroll long enough to encircle one of my provinces. It's not very big. We're Sardinia. I have... Hear the truth of your origin, my lord. He clears his throat and begins to read. Today we unveil the great history. Standing before us is King Alessandro, son of King Simeon of Sardinia e Corsica, sired by the fearful King Alessandro I, the benevolent of Sardinia e Corsica. Fruit of the loins of Archon Castor of Sardinia, son of the remarkable Jedi Galu of Lagador, child of Mariano de Torres. 
few eyelids around the corp begin to droop. Oh boy. I will, we'll tell him to stop. That wasn't very interesting, but oh well. I may sit on the throne, but I do not wear my crown. I will need to commit myself to the proper rights of any new ruler. All right, we're going to need to get crowned. We'll try and get the Pope to do it. He has been willing to do it in the past. Yep, he'll do it for us. We're very close with the Pope. We got an alliance with our nephew. In terms of the coronation, we'll spend a good amount. We'll do a moderate ceremony. We're, we're a major king now. Fuck, we just got sick. Let's we'll see if Adeline Day is still gonna be great for our family. Ah, she, she did it. Oh my gosh. Every time. I don't think she's ever failed. No, I've got to knock on wood. I don't think she's ever failed to heal one of our one of our rulers ever. That's ridiculous. Damn. Maybe review work on travel and movement. That could be. That could be. Well, travel, movement, movement. I don't know. Maybe they're going to do the trade system. They put it. You remember that picture they put out for CK3 development where it was like the, the like this layout floor of like a building and they put the different parts in there. Let me see if I can pop it up really quick. What the fuck was that dev diary? Poor plan of the future. Here we go. All right, we'll go back to the other one, and then if I do window capture, and then I go for this, beautiful. Okay, so plan for the future, the dev diary that they put out a while back. Remember this? This is supposed to like outline what they wanted to do in the future for CK3, which was really, I liked a lot of it, and then a lot of it I was a little disappointed by. I'm, I will try not to rant too long about this. Can you hear me now? I should be hearable now. I'd switch back to my other thing. Can't see me, but that's fine. I'm just, I'm just hiding in the background. Yes, you can hear me. All right, beautiful. Um, okay, so this was the layout, of the floor plan they did for the future of CK3. Now it's really interesting. Uh, if you look at it, they, they have a lot of like specific area content, which I think is really cool. Um, but that, if anything, actually kind of disappointed me because I feel like the systems they need to build, the mechanics they need to build onto the skeleton frame of their main game are so there's so much they have to do before they should be getting to flavor that anyway point being there's there's the big areas that they talked about that they want to work on so if you look at this really carefully what's the biggest room what's the biggest room with the most sort of space two things imperial mechanics and trade and merchant republics trade i'm thinking this is what we're going to get with the next dlc I think it'll be a trade in Merchant Republic DLC because A, people are skewing about Merchant Republics as they should. The fact that we're going to get charged for it is just insane. I hope it's a free feature. It won't be. Um, but trade, I think, is what they're going to do. So, like, the, the movement, like you said, travel and movement, I think it will be a trade system. I hope it is a hybrid of, like, EU Force trade system, but, like, made more interesting. Because the EU Force system was okay. I don't think it was great, and I think they could do something better. And I am hoping the reason we haven't gotten a big DLC or anything interesting in CK3 for so long, which I think has made many people kind of distrust this game, uh, is because they're working on a big trade DLC. That's what I'm thinking. I could be wrong, but that's what it is. And if it's not that, it better be a fucking good feature, because I don't know, man. This game, this game needs something big. So hopefully it's this. I really don't know what it would be besides that, unless maybe it was the Warfare DLC, which is also needed. They're gonna charge us for it, like they always do, which sucks. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. I think I think it's trade. Yeah, Merchant Republics are great. I did most of my campaigns as Merchant Republic. Also, good morning, Dolphin. What's up? What's up? Good to see you. 
Trade all paradox games suck. I disagree. I think they're imperfect systems. Also, why can't I even move my cursor? Fuck. All right. My, my computer doesn't want to work as usual. I hate that laptop. All right. Uh, let's wait for the coronation. Crack open my, my, our secret stores. So let's get some better clothing. Why are you dressing like a fucking peasant? So he's just wearing his nightgown. What is up with our, with our family and being unable to dress like mildly competently? He's zealous. He is fickle and he's forgiving. As a zealous man, he would probably not wear gaudy clothes. As a thrifty clerk, he'd have money, so he'd want to show it off, but in subtle ways. So well, let's go for like some really simple clothing, but also not like poor clothing, you know. Um, we'll go for that. We'll wear, hmm, we'll wear a cloak, but we'll keep it really simple. Or a commoner's cloak. Well, let's get a right, the right crown too. A uh, few things we need to do. We'll grow our beard, but not quite yet. We'll wear. Hmm. When we go on a pilgrimage, we'll wear that. Until then, we're gonna wear a ruby ring. We have to show off our wealth. And then for our, what was I gonna do? Also, crown. We want the Iron Crown of Lombardy, the historical crown of our family. And let's also cut our fucking hair. No, look, no, not be like this. Wing short. Balding. <laughs> it's fucking edgy. No, oh, I just want something simple. Um, let's go for medium hair like that. There we go. That's a little bit more reasonable. I did too. I think it's because uh, he is sick. Who who is sick, Levo? Um, Hamu, would you be willing to play Fiddler and CK3 if I use channel points for it? I've seen the Fiddler and Corellia area have custom units. Yeah, but it'll be a one-off. I'll only do one session of it. Fiddler doesn't really interest me in a longer-term game, so it'd be like a one-off game, but yes. All right, we have a couple court events. I think I found the reason why some days are more rapid than others. My friend Mel Sunday happily declares as she moves aside to reveal a servant holding a very displeased cat and wriggles in an attempt to free itself from the stretched arms of my servant, meowing in a rather endearing fashion. I'd say this is one successful rat hunter. In fact, I was in the middle of wrestling a match with a fat one when I we found it. What say you? Should we adopt the cat? Yeah, sure. We'll take the cat. Why would you honor that sycophant and dolly with a court position and not me? My knight, Bosane, is livid. We'll make him our own. No, fuck it. We we wouldn't we wouldn't respect that. We're fickle. We'd be rather angry with him. Um. Okay. For the cat's name, does anyone have the name for the cat? Anyone got a good name? Should I got water already? I am. Anyone got a good cat name? Otherwise, I'll just name him my old Paul. <laughs> Paul. You were religious. Yeah. Fair. We'll name him Paul. Our wife just became pregnant. Beautiful. Uh, as one player of food is replaced by the next, my steward, Jenex, here goes on and on about friendship. And that was how we salvaged that mess. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lord? We'll talk about him. We'll try to get to know him better. We're still sick, actually. We have banking now. Beautiful. We've been coordinated by the Pope. Why, um... I don't recall focusing on banking. No, we're working on banking now. We finished, I think, uh, knighthood. Yes, we did. Windmills. Guilds wouldn't be a bad idea. Organization. Banking. No, we're working on banking. I mean, we're, we are one of the biggest trading hubs in Europe. We, we import the majority of the walrus ivory from Greenland. We, we take much of the trade that comes out of the Fatmids from the, the Far East, the incense of Yemen and uh, the African subcontinent. I mean, all that flows through our ports out into the other areas of Europe. So how developing a bank would make a lot of sense to be able to compete with like the Venetians and stuff. We're not a like republic like the Venetians, but we would be a rival of them as traders. Same with the Genoans. Hazel, that was a good one too. What's a mage? Joe. 
Biggie makes sense since you're a merchant, yeah. Well, we're not a merchant. We're, we're a family that rules over an area full of merchants. I mean, the city of Sasari will be home to, like, just so many merchant families. Our development is just ridiculous at this point. Twist and turn, fate have not always been to my advantage. God knows that I was cursed the day I met Matthias. Today, however, this curse has been lifted. Oh, he was a rival, apparently. He's dead now. I don't... I don't even remember that name, but... All right. We'll pet our cat. My friend Melisande bows briefly before me and explains with satisfied smile. My lord, you might remember that some months ago you invested a large sum of gold into the cadastre of your counties. I have personally supervised the matter and now profoundly say that the job is done. Good. We've got development in all of our counties. Wow. That's really good. God damn. We're rolling. We'll go on a pilgrimage we can we afford it next to. We're zealous. We've never been on one. Venice is 50k in debt. Are they really? What is the doge fucking doing? Yeah, they are. 51,000. Beautiful. The fuck are they doing over there? But are you got a gambling problem or what's going on? Moving by my tribulations, Jedi Gavini has offered me his counsel and aid on many occasions, hoping to alleviate the burden of my duties. However, Gavini's attention has incurred the wrath of Judea Pellegrina. Gavini cannot be trusted. This is merely a ploy to exploit you, my liege. We're fickle. We'll take... We're fickle. We'll take her warning. Just fuck up our friendship. Your monarchical trader kingdom. Yeah, I, this is a good way to put it, I'd say. Like the Tamil rulers in India. Similar. Oh, no. Uh-oh. We had a game crash. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm worried. I have so many mods on. All right, this will take a minute. Last time I launched, it took me like six minutes, so we may be here for a second. Oh, boy. Take a moment to look at the dev diary while we wait. Where's the, where's the latest one? Here we go. We'll look at this dev diary. That ain't it, but all right. Um, all right, it is launching. Yeah, so this is the latest dev diary, the Community Choice Event Pack, which is pretty cool. Um, they only gave us one idea for the upcoming expansion. This, this is what it is. It's, it's um. I mean, look, it's there's clearly like development. It has to do with either one or two things it's gonna be warfare due to like building like i mean the outposts up there i mean this is defensive towers the mountains could be defensive uh it, it could be a place to you know obviously create a choke point in warfare or something like that terrain warfare something like that alternatively it could also be a bridge built across the river to facilitate development and trade and movement as he said so i think it's gonna be either warfare or it's gonna be economy it should be economy because I think that's more important for the game long term. But we'll see. It's only one of those two, I think. Did you guys see what they did the poll thing for villains and then wards in love? I definitely want uh, villains and vagabonds. Like, they're making an RPG. They're making a story game, right? And, like, love and lust is great for, like, the incels. Wards and wardens would be interesting for, like, childhood development, which they should absolutely do in the future. But, like, what makes a story really good? Like, what makes... The difference between that book you read where you're like ah it's all right or a tv show or movie versus the one that you remember and you're like oh that was that was fucking good that was fucking good what is it it's a good fucking antagonist or more than one that's what it is that's what makes a good fucking story so it should be villains and vagabonds like realistically that's what would add more life and more interest to the game i mean like the friends and foes community pack of the event pack was was solid also they shouldn't be charging money for these it's so fucking annoying like i know that like all they care about, their executives care about is money, but these should be free things. Like, it's just fucking ridiculous. Anyway, but what would make it, the game so much more interesting would be villains. Because, like, uh, think about the, the recent events pack, like the, the one with friends and foes. The rival system for families is really fucking cool. It makes the game way more interesting. It makes it way more engaging because you actually have someone to, like, work against versus, like, regular CK3 or even CK2, where it's like you can do things and you can make, like, antagonists and people you don't like. But it's kind of hard to keep track of like an actual system with events and like a system played out for your people who 
who go against you, right? That would add so much fucking flavor and make the game be much more playable longer term versus just getting bored of it, you know? Vote for villains, yep. Yep, exactly. Fully agreed. The Doja's debt destroyed the world. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Poor fucking Venice, man. But yeah, I, I think it's... Uh, I'm pretty excited for it. I mean, I think it'll be good. I hate that they're charging fucking six... What, what is the that one DLC? Like, the release events pack. Friends and foes. That was like six bucks, right? Let me look. I think it was six dollars. I know they increased all the prices on their DLC, though. Let me look. Five dollars, yeah. That's not too bad, but... It should be fucking free. It's... Ridiculous. They, they sold us a game that was completely unfinished. CK3 is the mo one of the most unfinished games I think they've ever released in many ways. Like, I remember buying it two years ago, and I remember being so fucking excited. Like, I was as excited as I was for Vicky 3. And then I played it, and the disappointment I felt was, uh... It was, it was pretty significant. It was the most disappointed I think I've ever been in a game, to be honest. That's why I think many people are just, like, they hate CK3. I get it. CK2 was great, and they're selling back a lot of the good features for that game. They're not even really improving upon them. They're selling them back. I mean, they've added new things that are really cool. The stress mechanics, the, the new RPG system, the, the more much more in-detail character interactions, more flavorful events, and things like that. I mean, it's good. The friends and foes system is, ironically, as only a minor DLC, I think one of the most innovative things they've done besides stress in CK3, which says a lot, but... I don't know. It's... It's a case, I think, of, like, they can only get away with this stuff because they're a monopoly. I hope that we get a competitor p to Paradox at some point because they just won't be able to do this shit because people just won't play their games. They're empty content-wise. They're not empty, but there's not a lot of content, that's for sure. They're, they're pretty... They were both very disappointing. I will give more credit to Vicky 3. I know the Vic 2 Luddites just fucking scream and cry about, like, not getting a copy of Vicky 2, but I will give more credit for Vicky 3 for one very simple reason. Vicky 3 actually contained a really interesting new mechanic. It did. The economic system they built into that with goods and how complex they made the economic system and pops and how pops have, like, all these features and jobs and capital pools and stuff, that's completely new. No game has ever done that. Paradox has never done that before. Sure, it's a system that is buggy as shit, but it's a new system. Like, they built something new with Vicky 3, and that's why I'm much more forgiving with Vic 3 compared to many other games. I'm not forgiving to CK3, because CK3, they did nothing fucking new. Their big new system was stress. That's all it was. And it's a cool thought. It's a cool system. But is it worth $40 of a game that failed to even go as good as CK2 besides the, the obviously, aesthetic updates? No. Vicky 3 at least made something new. CK3 didn't. It did nothing fucking new besides graphics and stress. And that's why I have really no respect for CK3. It's going to turn into a good game. I like it due to modding right now, but CK3 uh, I like a lot more because, again, they built a new system. They had the balls to, like, listen to the fucking, you know, Paradox Vic 2 fuckers just scream and cry about it in the Hoi players and still make something new and interesting. And I respect that. That being said, it was rushed and should have been bug fixed more, but still. All right, ran over. We're still waiting for the game to load. Like I said, it takes me a long time to load this with all these mods, so. The other Dev Diaries haven't really said anything recently. Like, they've alluded to some interesting stuff, but there's there's not been a lot of anything particularly crazy. I don't know. All right, we will go back to waiting for this fucking game to load. Luckily, modders will fill in with Paradox won't. Yeah, I know, but that's not right, man. Like, modders are unpaid, they get no credit, they just get their ideas stolen by the fucking devs at times. I don't know. I, I'm not talking shit on the Paradox devs. The, I respect the devs, I don't respect the people who run Paradox, but like, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like how, I don't know, I like modding as it exists, it's really cool, but like, I don't, I don't like how modders don't get a lot of credit, and Paradox doesn't hire as much out of that group as they should in my opinion, because those people do so much for their games. All right, cool. Let's hope this fucking loads. It can get very boring, yes, because it's it's not a complete game. Did we not have an auto save? Bruh. Did we not get a fucking auto save? Nope, we did not.
Well, there goes 35 minutes of gameplay. All right, I'm gonna run it a little quick and get us a save. I wanna see if we're gonna get an ever crash. I've already gone over the basics. God fucking damn it, man. Oh, what the fuck? It should have been an auto save. I don't understand that. Let me check my settings really quickly. That's worrying, actually. Hold out the puppy as well. We'll do every six months. Just to be safe, because we didn't get a year in, that's what happened. <sighs> God damn it. We got the bugs fucking again for coronation again too. God damn it. What's so annoying about CK3 is that the mods don't work sometimes. Well, yeah, but you can't blame them. I mean, like, modders are not consistent in quality. Oh, fuck, we had a mental break. Let's go pet our dog. I want to uh, give me a sec. I want to get a little bit in and see if we're getting like a crash on a certain event or day or something. Because it happens with mods sometimes. Then I'll have to go figure out what the fuck's going on. Which would suck quite a lot. God damn it, that bug coordination event. What's up, Burnt? More sure the Eagles. Well, the game ain't finished modding is what happens to save it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, I think half of modding is that people love these games a lot and want to make them better. I think the other half is the, the, the game company doesn't make their games good enough, so people have to fill in the gaps. I think that's what a lot of it is, to be honest. A lot of giant fish. Nice. I don't know. That's why I, I don't know. I have a very complex feelings of modding. I literally had the Viking Steve show mod in CK3. The thing is they like the characters from the series, but not the right titles. Yeah, you mentioned that before, man, for that mod. A lot of people complain how MD often crashes. I've never seen it crash for me ever. I don't know. It does not for some people, not for others. I get this weird audio bug where, like, that mod will literally fuck up my audio, like, completely. I don't know how it does it. Kind of impressive, actually. We had a daughter, uh, Philomena, Philomena, God, I'm going to struggle to say that. All right. I want to make sure that we can get through the year and get the auto save. If we do that, we'll just play like normal. Yeah, bird, bird's giving us all viruses, absolutely. Fuck, he sent me a message. I never responded to that. I just remembered. Spot of that. I have this horrible habit. I get a lot of DMs on Discord, like from a lot of people. Um, I have this really bad habit where if I don't respond to something, and this this is anything, this is like texting, messages, emails, anything. If I don't respond when I get a message, I fucking forget it exists. It's so fucking bad. And I feel like such a fucking cunt. Oh, God damn it, we already did this event. Oh, it's bugs. That's fine. I, I don't mean it like that. I, I just mean it like I feel like a fucking dick. <laughs> That's that was my point. I feel like a fucking dick. It was not it was not a it was not a casual flex, I promise. 
it's a it's a it's a just major flaw I was pointing out. <laughs> Alright, um Household efforts. Why should people talk to you first? Never never could be me. Never never. No, I remember being ghosted by you many times. I, I have never recovered since. Yep. Yep, truly. I will make our mother the guardian to our daughter this time around. Alright, did we get an auto save? Yes we did. Okay, we're good. I don't know what happened there. Something bugged. We're good now, though. God damn it. Adelina died. Our court physician. That's a shame. She was really good. We need a new physician. We're gonna have to sit in for one. We don't have the money for it either. Jesus. I am gonna give us some money. I don't normally do cheats, but this was literally a game bug from the mod. It made us do coordination twice and we lost a thousand gold. Money, cheat, CK3. Gold. No, I don't have it on. Never mind. We can't do that. Neither of them are very competent. He's a nun, at least. She's not a Christian, though, and we're religious, so we would not do that. We'll go for Car uh, Karen. Oh, no. Our physician's a strong Karen. Who is diligent, callous, and patient. Oh god, she's gonna have to speak to our manager. I'm not really looking forward to that. Funny words, magic man. Convert to a uh, word I can't say and become Giga, Giga Cad. Giga Chad. I don't know. She must be a witch, probably. Yeah, we have a Karen as our fucking physician now. Beautiful. Alright, we have a roadside stall. We've gotten this event a hundred times, so as a thrifty clerk, but zealous and forgiving, uh, we'll talk to her about salesmanship. We won't take all her money and destroy her business. Fuck, I want to go on a pilgrimage. We're going to have to really save up. This will take a while. How old's our wife? She's ten years younger than us. Goddamn. Very common in this time period, to be fair. What's our son doing? Can we get him to, like, do anything? We could train him as a physician. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's try to get him to be trained as a physician. Instead of having a Karen. He just had a son, uh, no, a daughter. Constantina. We'll go with that. That's a good name. Constantina, our granddaughter. We do not have the money. Okay, when we have the money, we're going to sponsor him to become a physician. Dude is so fucking tall, though. Goddamn. All right, let's see about befriending our brother. Let's let's start to write him some letters. Actually, no, we can't just befriend him. We can send him a poem. We'll send him a poem about legacy, because he's gonna have a great one. Beautiful, we succeeded. Stewardship. We're going to. We're already an architect, so we'll become. Well, we'd go for administrator next. We're not really avaricious and we're as uh, zealous, so we would not, we'd actively try and stay away from valuing money for money's sake because that was a definitely a sit in Christianity. Yeah, this could be fucking bugged for us. God damn it. Alessandro the Huge. Yeah, he's thick. Math is witchcraft. That's true. That's true. Yeah, she's uh, she's definitely a witch, but uh, if she's good at healing, we can we can tolerate her at least as a Christian. So my counselors believe the job is theirs by right to by blood and influence alone. How wrong they are! I expect results, yet I'm often disappointed. After a long day, I am complaining to Adelinda when she interrupts me. Let me do something about a husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. Sure. Um, let's get her to teach our marshal. She's fucking no, she's really good. Yeah, we'll get her to try and teach our marshal. Maybe she'll help him out a bit. What's up, that Nix Nixu? What's up? How's it going? The people of Sardinia in the chat agree that the woman's a witch. Burn her at the stake, Lamar. I don't know. We will. Fuck. We'll think about it. Our wives are a soulmate. I didn't realize that. Hell yeah. I'm out walking amiably when I suddenly see my cousin Jedi Gunare approaching with a beautiful white dog. Before Ivress can react, amiable and the other dog take off. Shit. You could lose your dog with this event. Have any new cultures formed in the map? No, not anything. Besides, like, the obvious one. 
Can uh, I'm gonna go grab some more water while I do. I'll give you the chance to just like, this is basically Where's Waldo. We're gonna play a little Where's Waldo CK3 version. Where is there a new culture appearing? It's really gonna be hard to find. It may take you a while, but uh, I'll give you like a minute while I grab water. I'm sure you didn't find it, so we can just move on. It's, it's no issue. Again, really hard to find. We'll move on. I honestly only know the Hoi 4 map, so I can uh, cannot say anything. Oh my god, yes, we can, we can go look at we can go look at Finland. British culture is still there. Russian culture is getting really big. Mongol culture is spreading very quickly, obviously. Um. Greek culture still is big because of uh, uh, the Byzantines. There has not been a splitting off of Byzantine culture, which has been quite surprising. I've played a lot of mega campaigns, and I've noticed that, like, uh, at least for CK3, uh, a lot of the time the, the Greek culture tends to, to split, but they haven't done that yet, surprisingly. There is Turco-Persian culture, which is interesting. It's a hybrid culture. It's already been formed a while back, but that one's cool. Persian is still alive. I hope that survives. We will see. I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking, Nixu. How are you doing on this fine Sunday morning and or afternoon and or evening, the paralleling on where you are at? Kumin culture is my favorite. How come, Rose Bros? What's the red culture in Iberia? Hold on, we gotta deal with this first. My treasury is empty. My lot are barren because of fucking bugs. Uh, even the rats have been sold to pay for my expenses, yet I'm still unable to pay all the debts I owe. How can I possibly get out of this situation? We'll ask our chancellor for money. Yeah, he did it. He has a hook on us though. The red culture is Andaluso Baranis culture. Formed in 1169, it's a hybrid culture between Baranis and Andalusian. There's also the, nope, that already existed. I don't think there's any more hybrid cultures. Let me look around. There's the Kumin culture. No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't see any other major ones. Glad to hear you're doing well. American culture is my favorite. You goddamn patriot. I bet you uh, you piss red, white, white, and blue bitter, and it's not a medical condition even. You're just American to the soul. No particular reason the country for it just uh, has a funny name. That's true. They do be coming. Uh, Brythano English in Brittany. Really? Oh. Brythano English is the mixture of Breton and English. Swords for hire, longboat competition, castle keepers, wetlanders, chivalry, dexterous fishermen. Uh, they just got seafarers too. Jesus Christ, how... How pro famous is their leader? Wow, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, where'd my music go? Yes, I'm still listening. Go fuck yourself. We're starting to pay off our debt. We are just going to probably stay Sardinian culture. I don't think we're going to make a hybrid. We are stalwart defenders, isolationist, and maritime mercantilist. We'll get more in the future, too. I had a quick nap earlier today and felt amazingly refreshed. It's as if I can do anything and everything now. Actually losing stress. Let's see if we can go pet our dog. Nope. God damn it. Oh, shit. There's a cold, uh, cold War, if I remember correctly. A Cold War? What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean a Cold War? 
Mirka. One of the docs said I had pancreatic cancer because I was missing red, white, and blue. I told him, uh, better dead than red, and practice my god-given right of killing godless commies. You goddamn patriot. You goddamn patriot. I'll salute that. My daughter-in-law, Isam Trude, has given birth to a daughter. Since the uh, only one was the Torshtu dynasty, she should be blessed with a good name. Okay, so we have another fucking granddaughter, and we need a grandson. Let's make her a diplomat. So let's give her a good Catholic name. Stefania. Eh. Beatrice. Eh. Patricia's alright. We'll go with that. You son of a bitch! Our brother formed another dynasty! Oh, go fuck yourself, Simeon. I knew I didn't like you for a reason. We actually really like each other. He founded the Torshitaru Guadiato family. God damn it. Be industrious. Go fuck yourself, you fucking cunt. God damn. Wow. Wow. No respect for our father. No fucking respect. Can we denounce him? We can't denounce him. We can expose a secret. No, we can't. God damn it. We really like him. Wow, he just disrespected our fucking family. More and more white-eyed servants seek me out, claiming to have seen my father, King Simeon, walking the halls. He could find no rest, my lord. The timing on this. That is why he stalks the place of his demise. I fucking bet his second son just disrespected the family name and took another. Goddamn right he can't be at rest. We're gonna look into it. Damn. Damn. Our father knows what's up, even though he's dead. Lately, the burden of rule has been more than acute than usual, and my mother seems to take a notice. She insists I spend my day in the gardens with searches. She will handle my responsibilities in the meantime. Yeah, that's, that's probably a good idea. We do look a little stressed. Thank you for a follow. It's Sir Ducky. Nice name, by the way. Are we going to go colonial in EU4? Most likely. We'll see where the RP takes us, but most likely we will, yes. Thank you for a follow that Nixu. I think that you, uh, Cubans are notable for having blonde hair while being step nomads. Really? I didn't know that. There's a Cold War mod for Vicky 2, right? Yes, there is. It's 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 all right. It's an all right mod. They're, they're making one for Vic 3 as well. I think the same team is. Or someone is, I know. So I've seen that happening. Right now I'm playing the Sicilian Muslim who capital is Palermo and made a custom which is called asceticism. Nice dolphin. Sounds like fun. He also bears the name of his father. Alright, another vassal paying homage. Our grander rank is six. My cousin Jedi Gunare uh, approaches me, rage in his eyes, and a dog in his hand dragging along the scruff of his neck. As he reaches me, I see that he is holding dear amiable. I found this beast amongst my things. What wasn't chewed on to bits was covered in excrement. It's our cousin. We really like him, so we'll compensate. No, no, we can't give him that much money. Don't you don't need a hundred gold for your personal belongings? That's just excessive. No, we won't, we won't, we won't do that. Makes no goddamn sense. Custom religion. What kind of religion was it, Dolphin? They migrated to Hungary after Mongol invasion. That I did know. I did know that. I really want to go on a pilgrimage, but we are poverty ridden. We are the first of our line in quite some time to be in significant negative debt. He's breaking new uh, new ground for our family, just, just not the good kind. Chains of loyalty. God, he's really only having daughters. Cuban facts today. I haven't partaken in Hamburg Street in forever. What's up, big chef? How you doing, man? Good to see you. How's uh, how's everything for you after the after the winter break? Guild of Stone Maces has established itself in the Judicadu of Logodora. Having dedicated craftsmen as my personal service could help the region flourish. We'll try and strike a deal with them. See if our uh, stewardship is up to the task. 
No, no. You insult me and my entire profession, my lord. The chief mason is not at all pleased with the offers I am willing to make. In fact, prices are on the rise. Simply the cost of labor, of course. I am sure the king understands. We've got a young, young corporation here. Early version. It's the cost of labor going up. We have to charge you more. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... We really can't fucking afford this. So we're going to make them do what we want. They'll be unhappy about it, but fuck them. We're in debt. Is all Andalus good for Colonial and EU4? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I got COVID and strep and almost died. Jesus Christ, man. Have you have you gotten better? Are you in recovery? Or what? what's up? I'm glad you made it through, dude. Fuck, that's a brutal combo. So much sickness this winter. I'm engaging my dearest Queen Adeline of Sardinia Corsica in our usual pillow talk. Nice. Wrapping her lovely hair around my fingers. Uh, <laughs> nice, bud. Do you love my hair so, my darling? Perhaps you could carry it with you always. That's weird. As you go about your duties as king, so then everyone will see you and I are one. No, that's just... Is he a simp, though? How much of a simp is he? Forgiving, zealous, and fickle. Okay, he's not really a simp. So we're gonna say no to that. That's... I th at first thought she was joking, but it quickly becomes apparent that she also intends for me to wear her hair as an accessory. Nah, we're good. That's... That's 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 a red flag if I've ever seen one. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get divorced at this time period, so that's rough. So that's good. Bitter. Uh, I still got an actually cough I'm on the mend. Glad to hear it, man. Better getting better. I've got a friend who had gotten COVID three times. She was also one of the first patients in the U.S. Hey, me too. I was also one of the first patients in the U.S. and I've gotten COVID three times, despite getting uh, the vaccine and boosters. So, woo, COVID. Half my family has said it to my face that it doesn't exist since uh, almost dying from it too, which is hilarious. They're still rejecting it? Oh God. It has for its tenets esotericism, literalism, and, and asceticism, and other religions like fundamentalism and mukadism. Uh, that the ever Muslims who we can holy war against. Nice. Oh, yeah. I'm out riding my dog Amy will build beside me when he suddenly runs off into the hills. My retinue assures me he'll be back. But what if he doesn't? We'll be patient. We'll wait. We better not lose our fucking dog. No matter how long I wait, Amy will does not return. Just I'm about to big give up. A writer from my retinue returns with disturbing news. He swears he saw my rival, uh, Ekaterina, skulking around. Our rival? The Princess of Croatia? She's our rival. Apparently she might have killed our dog. What the fuck? What kind of person kills a fucking dog? Let's get her excommunicated. She's a princess. We had the piety. No, we wouldn't burn piety. We're zealous. No, we wouldn't do that. God damn it. I'm surprised to find my wife skulking in my study. By the look on her face, something is clearly upsetting at Linda, yet it takes me a while to convince her to share her concerns with me. My beloved, I must confess to you, Isentruda has given insult to me. I cannot bear the thought of being close to that corseted woman any further. What does that have to do with you being in my our fucking study? That that is an unrelated issue. That's our son's wife. We really do like our wife, though, so we'll listen to her. She's batshit crazy, but we'll listen to her. Even after discussing the details of the incident with Adelina, I am still unsure of what to think of the whole affair. Then again, a good king would stand by his queen, and Adelina looks uh, genuinely devastated by the event. We're going to tell her to forget about it. She's, she's clearly just batshit fucking crazy. She was the one who Simeon forced uh, Alessandra to divorce. Was she really? Oh shit, that one? Oh yeah, that bitch. Oh fuck. She's fucking haunting our family. That's like one of those butterfly effect things. Where you make like some choice a generation back and then it comes back, oh man. She just killed our fucking, our... Yeah, we married her, didn't we? Or we almost, we did marry her. That's our ex-wife. Our ex-wife just killed our dog. Oh God. It's good to see, even in the medieval era, crazy exes were still a thing. It's good It's good to see that historical consistency. 
We also just had a mental break, dark thoughts. We could become a flagellant like our father. We could, uh, no, we're, we're gonna resist it and we're gonna go pet our dog who's, no, he's missing. Never mind, our dog got murdered, didn't he? We can buy a new one when we have the money though. God damn it. He lost 20 pounds in four days, I look so fucking good. That's due to sickness, right? That's not the good kind. I mean, congrats on the weight loss, but you've got the bad kind. She killed your dog, that bitch will die. I, I agree, we're zealous, so we can't murder her though. I looked like a straight stick. Was she the lustful one? Yes, she was. Yes, she was. She is a lustful fornicator who is vengeful. Wow. Yeah, she's literally the definition of a crazy ex. She's an antagonist. She's also a flamboyant fucking trickster with 17 intrigue. She fucking killed our dog. She has a fur carpet. And it, it's a fucking dog carpet. That bitch fucking killed and skinned our dog. Who does that? Oh man. CK3 events. That is ridiculous. Oh yeah, he's, he's been up here hanging out. Holy crap. Yeah, so. Oh wow. Um. Wow, she actually killed our, our, our dog. Again, who the hell does that shit? You have hundred of them. Is this Cruella DeVille? Is this medieval Cruella DeVille? Is that what this is? We're gonna send her a poem. Oh, we could be deep and go for morning, but no. We're gonna send her a poem about incompetence. <laughs> it succeeded. We got prestige and she's publicly humiliated. No, wait, no, it did really bad. She was still mocked, but the, 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 the poem didn't do very well. That's fine. We still mocked her. We're going to keep an eye on her. We're going to keep a fucking eye on her. If we want to be really evil, we could like find some of it with it. Well, no, 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 we're not going to be horrible. We're zealous. One of my mother's old acquaintances, Ida, has arrived at my court at her invitation. My mother makes no end of hinting at the good influence Ida could exert over the realm if she was offered a position at court. This is one of our mother's friends who is incompetent. So, no, we're not going to do that. We'll ask the Pope for gold again. And we're gonna buy a new dog. Since our old one has been murdered by our crazy fucking ex-wife. Beautiful. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna uh, we can't name him amiable. That's not right. That's our old dog's name. What's uh what's We can name the dog after our ex-wife. Hmm. We gotta be really petty about this. Cause we're fickle. If we wanted to be really evil, and I mean really, really evil, we could name our new dog after our ex-wife's dead child. Would that be too fucked up? Is he, is he fucked up enough to do that? He's forgiving, but no, we wouldn't forgive our dog being murdered. He's zealous and he's fickle. That'd be pretty fucked up. But she did murder our dog. We're gonna name our dog after our ex-wife's dead son, just to be horrible. Kranislav. This is mildly evil, but she did fucking kill our dog. So we're gonna we're gonna be evil back. Like a good Christian. Yes. Yeah, we did. Uh pick uh, one sage uh historian or scholar. It's less fucked up than a dog being murdered and turning into a carpet. Yeah, I agree. Okay, cool. <laughs> Watch as she comes and murders this dog too. Fuck. If she does. Oh man, that's a, that's a complicated thing. Such glistening brown fur and well-trained to boot. I've never seen such a magnificent canine. My guest Elabira th thoroughly pets Kranislav before turning back to me. 45 gold should be plenty. 
You're not gonna buy our fucking dog. How dare you? Get the hell out of my court. Good. We got our wife pregnant again. It's our fucking rival. What does this bitch want? I have several cups of wine in this meal that I feel would normally have been quite merry. Unfortunately, the accursed... Why do we let our ex-wife into our feast? The accursed presence of Ekaterina diagonally opposite me at the table bites my evening. She is a princess. But why again is she in our fucking court right now? You bamboo, you fool, she bellows. You couldn't best a child in a test of strength. I could pin your arm to the wood right now. Of nary an effort expanded. She's calling us out. She's fucking pissed. She's, she's pissed about our new dog. Oh man, we might actually not win this. Aha! We beat her! <laughs> we beat our ex-wife in a, in a fucking, uh, in a fucking uh, arm wrestling competition. That's right, bitch. <laughs> We're now known as the strong arm for beating our ex-wife who murdered our dog in an arm wrestling match at a feast. You can't make this shit up. Beautiful. Beautiful. If that's what we become known for in history, I don't know. That's a complicated feeling for this man. Shit. She probably snuck in. She has high intrigue. True. That's probably what it is. Bribe the guards. Yeah. No, she ain't a princess anymore. Her dad dies. The kingdom of Croatia is gone. Yeah, she was a princess. Now she's just a goddamn wastrel. Is that the rastrel? I don't know. Peasant in our court. Probably she's murdering our animals. We're now likable. The whole realm likes us after we uh, we we showed our ex crazy ex-wife what was up. Checks out. Interesting enough, her grandfather was Alexander the First, and he had the nickname the Benevolent. He was also known for having a being a sexual deviant, and he made his wife fall in love with him after blackmailing her f because she was a cannibal. So, kind of checks out. Not gonna lie. His nickname is very misleading. All right, we have another daughter, Princess Adela. We'll go Adela, that's a good name. We'll give her a learning education. We'll teach her the, the Bible, the way of the Lord. Oh, Saeed is dead. The old bodyguard of our family. We need a new antiquarian too. Let's go for Princess Elena, our sister. For our Seneschal. We'll go for fucking Karen. <laughs> um, for our, we need one bodyguard. We'll go for, we do our son. Yeah, we'll make our son our bodyguard, run up. And then we'll get a, where is it? Court musician as well. No, we don't have any. They, they're all really incompetent. We will get a personal champion though. We'll go for Bosone. And for our new spy master, we'll go for our uncle. Princess Miguel. He was very loyal and very good to our to our father, so we'll we'll give him the honor. We got uh we got guilds, I think. Did I read that right? Uh-oh. Poor kid. No, we got banking. Banking is completed. We now have we now have a large bank uh in Cesare. Cesare, which is now like the trading hub of the Mediterranean, besides Constantinople, where it's like Constantinople and Cesare, the two big trading areas. Um has now established a major bank uh, to offset the power of the Republic of Genoa and the Republic of Venice. It is exorbitantly wealthy, given that it is uh, its it, its coffers would probably be sustained by large amounts of ivory, uh, gold from the mines of Sardinia, which we produce a lot of gold, gold historically, as well as silver, I believe, on Sardinia. And then we'd have all the trade coming. So it's a, it's a very, very valuable bank. This is like a Sims game at this point. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Absolutely. She's like the reverse Flash meme. Interestingly enough, his grand... already read that. A markedly disgruntled Jedi Gunari hurries to your throne. Cousin, I have the right of the Jaku of Lagodora, no matter what anyone else much might say. That's our title. No the fuck you don't. No the fuck you won't. Get the hell out. Get the hell out of our throne room. You, you're not going to get our title. The next petitioner was an extremely angry Jedi Gavini. Why are all our family getting pissed right now? With the briefest of deference shown, Jedi Gavini relays that some of my knights led by Alivaru, that's our brother, have passed through the Jedicadu of Cagliari recently. They have looted pillages and destroyed the villages and farmed in Cagliari. It is an absolute travesty, my king. I will not stand for it. Well, 
We'll send forces to fight them. That's our fucking younger brother. What the hell? As soon as it is his turn to speak, the agitated man in front of me screams, The end is nigh! God, crazy person. We'll cleanse everything of sinners. We're gonna lose development, but that's fine. If there are sinners everywhere in our lands, we must get rid of them. <laughs> we lost stress by doing that, apparently. Just cleansing the heathens. Beautiful. Well, we go ahead and upgrade the guardhouses on Incisari as well. We were invited to the wedding of our nephew and friend to the Duchess of Hildegard. So West Franconia. We're going there only out of politeness. We're friends with him, so. Uh, our niece wants to get out. We'll, we'll distract her. So I like these CK3 RP games. It reminds me of the old Sim videos and plays through. Yeah, it's, it's like strategy games meet Sims. That's what CK3 is. It's really cool. It really is. I mean, the Royal Court is really just like mid like the Sims medieval game. That's really what this is. A loud crash resounds throughout the hall as one of the doors of the service quarters break. It is barely claws tumbled by niece when Freda and my nephew Kuno spelled with Ford for everyone. Were they screwing? Or what was going on? She's intelligent. And in oh. Oh no. Oh no. Ew. Lovely. House Torres is getting a little degenerate, I have to say. But like one generation back under the King Simeon the Great, we were at the hype of our power and unity. And things are just degenerating so fucking quickly. This family is going downhill. <laughs> we're going back to our roots. When starting as an ordinary wedding became an exceptional one thanks to the presence of Philip. Uh, we spoke about everything and all manner of subjects and as things would uh, seem we have a lot in common. Wonderful. Well, something good came out of this gross evening, I guess. Torres becoming the Habsburgs. It, you know, we did, you know, you know why there's a lot of actual truth to that? This is our mother. Tell me, tell me what you notice about this woman that might show that statement some validity. Anyone see anything here that might, that might, um, inform recent events a little bit you want to see anything again kind of hard to find like the culture thing but uh yeah yeah we're 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 uh we are the descendants now of the habsburgs we've married into their family we feasted and danced the night away but at the last it is time to head back home i could not help but notice that duke simon uh simon simon of lower lorraine and duchess hildegard of lower lorraine seemed to hit things off immediately Cracking jokes and laughing the night away. No one marries for love, but perhaps they will live as good friends. Oh, good. Good luck, bud. He's our nephew. Hope hope all goes well. Hurrah and all that. Oh, God. Oh. Oof. Today I was given grave news. My wife, Adelina, has fallen ill with cancer. I fear this is the end. Only a miracle could save her. The physician wants to know how my wife should be treated. We'll give the choice to our wife. No, we're zealous. We wouldn't do that. We'd be sexist. Um, do no more than is necessary. And she gave her a wound. Oh, no. Damn. Damn. The good times lasted for a while. It's, uh, I think they're coming to an end for us. <laughs> Here we go. They want a new holding, uh, the Curadori of Vestio. It's a barony title. It's up there? Yeah, sure. We'll give the we'll get the we'll give the Teutonic Order and ever holding. They're gonna give us a fuck ton of money for it too. Beautiful. Upgrade the trade port in Algara. And she died. How can a heart endure this kind of pain without breaking? It cannot be possible. Here I am. My heart beating on whilst yours has gone quietly. She was crazy, but we did love her. Oh, Adelinda, my songbird. Life will not be the same without you. Damn. He just got a stress level from that. Let's go pet our dog. We can attempt suicide. Oof. We're zealous. We wouldn't do that. Suicide in the Catholic faith is, is a big deal. So no. 
fuck. We're just, we're just like depressed as shit, petting our dog all alone as our wife dies. Oh man, this dude's gonna be another tragic story, isn't he? Court Heinrich has approached me, claiming he has discovered who is behind the failed murder plot against Kuridor Aziz. That was a dwarf, dwarf vassal of ours, I guess. No, he was the father of the Pope. The Pope's, the Pope's father is an, was an infirm dwarf. Um, in exchange for details are another secret I know. We could tell the Pope, so we'll we'll we'll, we'll trade it. It becomes clear that uh, Adila was behind a failed plot to murder Curador Aziz. Our sister tried to marry marry uh, murder the Pope's father. She's been excommunicated for it. She's also our friend. What the fuck's going on? She's gay. What's going on with our family? Man. We, last I looked, we, we had a really functional, nice family. To be fair, that was only for a generation, but... Our, our gay, diligent, ambitious, greedy sister, who's also our friend, murdy, murdered the Pope's father, apparently. The fuck is this game, man? Jesus Christ. <laughs> the fuck is our family, dude? Time for her Walter White arc. Yeah, I guess so. Why are there three Leons next to each other? They're fighting to see who's the real one, I guess. There's King Garcia, and then there's uh, Duke Fernando. He's got the duchy title. There's only two. There's the duchy title, and then there's the kingdom title, I guess. And they're independent of each other, which is odd. Oh boy. Would we remarry? We're 51. We're zealous, forgiving, fickle, a poet, a crusader. He's edgy as fuck and religious. He wouldn't remarry. He'd just like be alone writing poetry right now is what he'd be doing about his own sorrows. Shit. Yeah, we won't remarry. That would, he's not the type of dude to do that, I don't think. Your sister's spouse is the guy who got caught banging someone at the feast. Oh my god. Is this the one? That's our other one. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. That's that's her son. God, look at that jawline. Jesus Christ. During the daily management of my realm, I've learned of several different opportunities I can pursue. Each opportunity has great potential, but realistically, I can only pursue one of them. I must determine which one would ultimately give me the most value. A lost tome? Managing our holdings or finding things to fill the treasury. We will get help managing our holdings. We will make, uh, we'll, we'll take on our granddaughter as a ward. As something to take our mind off of recent tragedies. We'll give her an education ourselves. What about our grandson? We don't have a grandson. We only have fucking granddaughters. We'll give her also a diplomatic education. Let's take on our granddaughters. No, we're not really competent though, are we? That doesn't matter. We'd, we'd realistically take one. We'll take on our second granddaughter. And then our main granddaughter, who was technically going to be our heir. We will... We'll get our we'll get our great cousin uncle. I don't even know what he is at this time. We'll get Gavini to, to teach her. He's a really good diplomat and chancellor. Maybe that got her excommunicated. She wanted revenge on the Pope. Oh, that could be actually. What was the timeline on it? It doesn't tell us when the, all this happened. I don't think. Let's look. And yeah, we can't see when she was excommunicated, so we don't know if it was before or after. Bring back control in Cagliari. We had all that stuff happening recently in the south. We'll send our marshal down there. We have money. Let's commission an artifact. 
Plus guarding and commission. What what do we really need? Like what's what do we not have? Something really good. We don't have any armor. Let's commission some armor. You will not regret supporting me, my lord, my beneficiary Barat. Oh, that's the one our fought. Was that our father's like the, the person our father fucked before he died? No, that was someone else. This is the other one. She was our father's uh, antiquarian though. We'll go for. We'll let her choose. We're not picky. We're not a great warrior or anything, so we wouldn't have a, a strong opinion on it. To be fair, I don't think. Anyone special to you, Lou? Yeah, we'll name we'll name the armor after our dead wife. We'll name it after her. Damn. You have a really good uh, knight. We don't like him that much, though. He really likes us. He is a peasant leader, he's strong, he's an aspiring blade master, a master hunter, a tough soldier, content, greedy, and wrathful. Interesting guy. As me and my counselors are gathering for a meeting, my dog, Branislav, approaches me with banging eyes and a drooping tail. She does not like to be left alone. This is an important meeting. We're depressed as shit. We're gonna keep our dog in the in the council chambers. Ah, uh, ugh. The dog, the dog's being gross in the meeting. That's fine. We'll upgrade the hunting grounds of Porta Taurus. I bumped into a very grave looking bra on my armor, hoping that she does not bring ill news of the splendid mail she should soon have ready for me. There are my liege, I have hit a wall in my work, nothing major. My ideas have gone to ground as the pressure mounts. I just need some inspiration. Mighty King, might you have some prior examples I could examine? No. Um, no. Let's go, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go party or something. I know what you need. We had a higher quality, nice. Cool. We, uh, we, we, we went out with her and had some fun and, and just chilled out, so she got less stressed. Our giant daughter, Princess Sarah, has come of age. Jesus, she's a fucking absolute unit. Look at that. Our diligent, gluttonous, giant, fortune builder, chase daughter. Resentful gambler. That's a, that's a big woman. God damn. Let's find her a husband. Not the Doge. The fuck is Slavonia? Oh, that's Croatia. Uh, probably not. A Duke of Angria. A Duke of West Fraconia. The Duke of Toulouse. That's interesting. He's old as shit and he has children, so no. What does this dude look like Wolverine if he was, like, anemic? He's 30. He's a 63-year-old hideous dead light wife, homely dead wife. I don't think we need our bloodline to go into that one. Um, okay, who else do we have? The Duke of Lyon? The Duke of Barcelona? Did we already marry into that family, though? Could have sworn we did. She's thick with, with three C's. Goddamn right. Yeah, that, that's the Wolverine. The Wolverine is al alive in this timeline. Then again, it might make for interesting... He's even a confident knight. He's not very powerful. Yeah, we, okay, we had an alliance with Barcelona. It wasn't a... I think a, a, a betrothal to the, the Duke of Barcelona would be a, a good idea. Might get delicate, though. What if we got delicate giants in Barcelona? Yeah, we'll go for it. He's got a big-ass army, too. That's a really good political connection. They're right across the water. I mean, we would trade extensively with Barcelona, too, so... That's a really good match, actually. We're not getting married. Ask the Pope for more gold, even though our sister killed his father. To repair also some of our stuff. This is ridiculous. Alina protests as the keeper of the King's personal collection. I have responsibility to ensure the quality of your work. You will see once it's finished, her reports. You should leave the woman to her work when she is making f male fit for royalty. Lower quality, God damn it! All right, um, let's repair our old equipment.
We'll keep all these. They're all really good. All of our accessories are good, and then all of our armor and regalia is not really that great. Give her the Duke of the Populist Uprising. Zeph, we're, we're, a, we're a prestigious family. A prestigious king. You expect us to marry with the peasants? My god. We're not the Germans. <laughs> Um, our uncle wants us to come to a feast. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. Fun. Delicate giants. That would be interesting. But whenever the, his wife is a soulmate and dies, I don't remarry because they are their soulmate. Yeah, exactly. That's my same mindset, Dolphin. The pleading gay is received by my cousin Ugu. Okay, he wants to have the feast. We'll help him out. Got a brooch that gives fertility. Nice. It's a trinket. Oh, nice. We had a good time with our uncle. Are we friends with him? No, he really likes us. We we like him. We don't, we don't love him because he's a sinner. He's a sodomite. <laughs> he's our... Oh, no. He's our bisexual uncle. Fuck. He's known publicly to be a sodomite. We love him because he's family, but we're zealous and we're a Catholic, so... Oh, boy. Man, our family... Okay, so let's let's just go over our, over our family. We've got an uncle who's a well-known bisexual sodomite. We've got our sister who murdered the Pope's father. What else do we have? We have our brother who just sacked his own family holdings in the south of Sardinia. We've got our brother who broke the fucking traditions and broke the heart of our father. So much so that he's now haunting our castle because he founded a new dynasty and took a new name. That's the current state of our family. House Taurus. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gotta love that that dysfunction, you know. Our rival's still alive. Can we do anything to there? Not really. Wish there was more hostile actions you could take. My cousin Jedi Gunari accosts me. Well, my cousin, I've heard tell of your patronage of Barad the Armor. They say she is making mail worthy of the king. Please take this and give it to her. I wouldn't want to miss the chance to aid in the creation of a masterpiece. Nice. That was nice of him. Jedi Gunari. We're good friends. Well, no. We like each other. We're not friends. Your mother died? Oh, that was our mother. Oh, shit, it was. Yeah. But, uh, Queen Mother Oda. Shit, yeah. She also got excommunicated? Why was our mother? Oh, because she was an adulterer. Oh, yeah. That was our mother. She was the one that who we found out at the end had children with our father's brother. Right. We actually may be the, chi the child of Prince Kostora, by the way. Just a reminder. I completely forgot about that. There is a pretty good chance that we're actually not Simeon's son. And all of our siblings are not Simeon's son. Oh, man. Okay. If she's been excommunicated, is that now public knowledge? Well, no, because she was known to have cheated on him. It's not known that we were potentially not King Simeon's kids. So I think that's what it is. All right, wonderful. She completed the mail. We got just really generic Sardinian mail armor. It's okay. Not great. Now, uh, Queen Oda's brooch. Seduction scheme power increase. Oof, that's rough. Accurate. I'm gonna say it. She was a bit of a hoe. I mean, if we're gonna be honest. Fuck. I also want to point something out really quickly. Take a quick look at our king. Take a, take a quick look at King Alessandro II. Just just look at him. Just, just take a quick look at him, all right? All right, take a look at him. Just put his face in your mind really quick, okay? All right. Now, let's look at our father. Can't look at him. But take a look at our father. Look look at his face, okay? Just keep that in mind. And then then look at our uh, look at him. Look at look at uh look at our uncle. Look at his face. Which one does our face look more like? Just a reminder. This this is our uncle who's dead who who uh, we know but our character doesn't know. Uh, was was cheating with our father's wife. Here is our father, okay. And here is us. Who do you think 
Whose child do you think we are? Our character. Who do you think it is? I have my suspicions. And uh, I, I don't think it's unfortunately King Simeon. <laughs> to be honest. I don't think it's King Simeon. Which sucks, because he was the most impressive fucking king of our dynasty. Like that, he was an absolute Giga Chad. Our uncle was cool. Ish. He, he fought within the crusade with our grandfather. Man. A pilot individual who looks as if she has spent her entire life skulking underground is lurking in the corner of the throne room. I've heard tell you might have a secret passage installed. I can craft an impure, impure corridor your, to your twisted heart's desires. We'll do an escape passage. We're not we're not like the spying type, but an escape passage is practical, so we'd build one of those. Nice. In case we try and get murdered, we have a way out. Send a poem to the Pope. We'll send a poem to the Pope about legacy. And he liked it. It was a very good poem. Beautiful. We got to every generation. We have to send at least one poem to the Pope. He's a really good Pope though. Jesus fucking Christ. He's a scholar. He's a journaler. He's intelligent. He's got 44 learning. Wow. All right. Supposedly there's a witch. We're forgiving, but we're also zealous, and we're more zealous than we are forgiving, so we will burn her alive. Let's go ahead and try and chain, uh, train our daughter in swordplay. Atheist Pope. Well, oh, Muslim background. Yeah, because he's from Iberia, Chef. He's an Iberian Pope. Our daughter improved, and her prowess has gone up by three. Beautiful. How's our granddaughter doing? Our heir granddaughter. Not bad. 35351. It's okay. Howdy. Not bad. My uncle Prince Miguel has proven himself highly capable, especially in discreet matters. There are some projects I would like to undertake in the Judicatu of Ayaccio, my leash. With your blessings, of course. But he's put discreet in everything other than screwing dudes, because that has not been very discreet. Uh, but we like him. We'll let him do it. He's a very competent, man. I think he's the last from the last generation of our family, too. Let's look around the island. No, there's still, uh... Oh, we just fucking crashed again. God damn it. Why is it... That was weird. We clicked on one of the characters and we crashed. I don't like that. Alright, hold on. I gotta relaunch this game. It sucks because relaunching with all these mods takes fucking forever, unfortunately. We will have to wait for the launch. Quick. You gonna follow Olokor? Okay. All good. Oh. 
Well, this has been an interesting game already. A lot of, lot of bad things happening with our family. I figured at some point, like, all the good stuff would stop and we just become like a degenerate Habsburgian family. Now, I must say, I expected another generation or two of good rule. I mean, Alessandro II is not a horrible ruler by any means. He's not a bad man. He's not a shitty leader. He's just a tragic character who's deeply flawed. But not as flawed as our siblings and our uncle. Uncles? And ants, yeah, we'll go with that. I don't know, is not the right word. Let's go complicated. God damn. This is why I do like CK3 though, and I think at the end of the day, I do, I ranted earlier about how like the flaws of CK3 on launch, and there were many of them. Um, but I also will say yet again, I do think CK3 will end up being the best Paradox game. There's nothing else like this out there. Like, this is the first game that is, I think, going to be successful, largely due to modding, but if the devs get their shit together, that too, where it will be able to combine RPG elements and strategy elements in, like, a scale that, that isn't really been done before. Because someone mentioned earlier, this is basically like The Sims. It is. The Crusader Kings games are very similar to The Sims, and CK3 has doubled down on that. But you have the strategy element thrown in there. If they continue to add more and more flavor content, if the mods get more and more detailed, which they will, because it's Paradox, if we get good DLC relating to like a warfare rework, an economic rework, a trade system, new government stuff, making theocracies playable, making culture more complicated and interesting and fluid, and maybe, if we're really lucky, some sort of a population dynamic system like for Vic E3. If they even did part of that, I think CK3 will end up being the best Paradox game, at least to me, objectively in my mind. Because, like, what's happening in this game right now? I mean, we have to use a lot of mods to make it this interesting, like how it is in this game right now. I've got 55 mods on this. But, like, I think that speaks to where this game goes. I mean, like, this is not my favorite game I've ever done, but it's certainly up there. Like, the amount of just, like, stupid, complex things that are so fucking human. I mean, it's clearly still a simulation, but, like, I don't know. I, I think the, the character interactions, making characters this interesting and stuff, it's really unique, I think. This game's really underlining that for me. Definitely, I think I'm gonna consistently make CK3 content from here on out too, because it's just so interesting. Let's have a look at something. All right, cool. Hopefully, this load doesn't take forever. It might. There's always a chance. Also, just a reminder: after this game today, we will be uh, playing some Vicky Three. Uh, I'm going to be playing Prussia in today's Victoria 3 game. I can go a little bit over the reforms and stuff I did before um, while we're loading here. I did a Diplo post already. I did it this morning when I got back uh, for Prussia. What I want to RP out is Prussia that I think would be really interesting. Is at the start of the game of uh, Victoria 3, uh, it's uh, obviously 1836. It was just after the Napoleonic period. It's a really complex period for German history. It's prior to the unification. It's when Prussia is still uh, really in a post-reform era. Now, historically, there were a number of major reforms in Prussia, but they were very limited due to the fact that Kaiser Friedrich Wilhelm III, I want to say, uh, was in many ways very old school and opposed to reform. He was a part of like avant-garde, old school, old guard, uh, and when it comes to monarchism and absolutism of monarchs, which was dying in this time period. But what I did with our role play is Victoria, Victoria 3 Odyssey, um, for our game is that unlike historically, the Kaiser's wife didn't die. Kaiser Friedrich Wilhelm III had a really famous queen. Uh, she was very unique. She was an example of like a, a woman in history who has an incredible amount of power and is fucking smart and got shit done. She was huge for the reform movement. She personally, get this, okay? So when Prussia got its fucking ass kicked by Napoleon and just was fucking destroyed, the Kaiser was ready to just run for the fucking hills and hide. You know who personally went and met with Napoleon and demanded better terms for Prussia and negotiated better terms for Prussia's semi-surrender? It was his fucking wife, the queen. He didn't come with her because he was a little bitch. She went and negotiated those terms. She was a fucking beast. Now, historically, she died. She got sick and she died historically during the Napoleonic Wars. I want to say in 1811. However, what I want to RP out in this game is that she never died. And she stayed on in power. And uh, she continued to get more and more influence over her husband, who was a very, in many ways, weak man. Um, him and his son in German and Prussian history were really 
they get like a lot of attribution historically like the kaisers were important powerful they were at a time like in the in the time of frederick the great right but in the in like the the german unification era and anything like that it was more like the chancellors and the aristocrats and the generals who were really powerful and made germany what it was but i want to rp out that basically the queen was a huge reformer and had a lot of power so in the roleplay post i put out i described like a bunch of massive reforms that essentially germany did uh, which i won't list because there's a lot of them but they were done uh after like a semi like short five day civil war where like a, a bunch of like military commanders wanted reforms in the military and then uh, von hardenberg who was one of the big reformers in german history had a lot of power and wanted the big economic reforms including total abolition of serfdom which happened historically but it was nuanced because serfdom still kind of existed in certain areas of germany Oops, my laptop just fucked up when we started um but they got all the reforms passed. So like in the RP, basically the queen kind of runs things with the with the uh, the leader of the, what did I call it? The uh, the general, not general assembly. It was the general assembly. General state or something. What did I call it? It's the historical one. Let me find what I did for that. So I hate this laptop, goddamn. What did I name that thing? It was the Prussian General Assembly. So the reformists have power and all this stuff like that. So anyway, that's that's what's going on for that game, which I'm uh, pretty excited for. So why the fuck is my chat not working now? One day I will destroy this laptop. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Okay, it's back. So anyway, that's uh, that's just the background of the Vicky game later. So I don't, I don't have to monologue about it. All right, the game is loaded too. Let's go ahead and get back in. We have an auto save this time, thankfully. But anyway, that'll be going on later today. So I want to go for like a like a reformist, parliamentarian, semi-democratic-ish Germany over the long period if we reform into Germany. So anyway, that'll be later today. Back to CK3. It doesn't look like we lost a lot of time here, so that's nice. We're doing the six-month auto saves right now, which makes it so if we if we lose time, it's not ridiculous. Our daughter didn't learn this time around, though, unfortunately. She didn't get that three prowess. Let's go on a pilgrimage, though. I've been wanting to do that forever. I think we need 250 to go to J Jerusalem, so we'll save up for that. Jerusalem, of course, is back in the hand of the Muslims again. There was a Crusader kingdom that was established there under actually one of our dynasty, but they lost it, so it's back. Our brother died. Oh, shit! Simeon died! Oh, wow. King Simeon of uh, Andalusia died, our brother who founded the Crusader Kingdom. Wow. All right. We now have our nephew in charge over there in Iberia. King Gugliamu. Gugliam Gugliamu. Gugliamu? I don't know how to say his name. Anyway, he's in charge now. He is an insightful thinker, chaste, forgiving, calm. Very good Christian. He has no kids and his wife is dead. Don't suppose we could help him find a wife or something. Nope. We gotta hope he actually marries because we do not want our dynasty to fucking die over there in Andalusia. I still would like to take Majorca though, so we actually get into the Iberian struggle. We may do that pretty soon. He's just, he's just, uh, I don't know, he's not really ambitious or warlike guy. So, maybe as a zealot leader, he might invade Majorca at some point, but I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to wait a little bit longer, I'd say. Oh, the reforms are in the game when we get in. No, because we don't do save edits prior to the start of the game. So if I don't get them in reforms when we start, I'll ask for a save edit before the second session. So I wish they were, but no. Because one of the things, I mean, I could give you the list of reforms. Like a lot of these could be added to the game. So I'll have to do a save edit request for it. Get ready for a mega post. I apologize. I went over the character limit. Too many reforms. All right. I'll have to do these one by one. Almost. And then here's the military ones. But no, a lot of those could be added to the game, but uh, no. All right, we have another witch. We'll go ahead and burn her as a zealot. Well, again, we're forgiving, so it hurts us to do it, but God does not forgive heathens. And we had a mental break from it. 
Guilt and shame. You would have followed D D J K E S D I H. Kesdia, Kesda. I think it was Paula. We'll go and have uh, more stress, and then we'll we can't pet our dog. God damn it. We'll go hunting then instead. We need to save money up for the crusade, but we're really stressed. We need something to get our mind off of all the recent events. So we're gonna we're gonna go. Hunting. Oh no. Bounding through the hills, I am gained on the powerful boar. I have been chasing for hours just as I prepare to strike. My uncle, Prince Miguel, cries out in pain. He has fallen and is now crutching his leg. We'll try and help him out. We really like him. That's our... That's our bisexual, intelligent... Crusader uncle. Alright, cool. Hopefully he doesn't die from his wounds. And then we'll keep saving up for that pilgrimage. We could probably beat Miura in a war. We'd actually have to get a claim on it. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll send our Archbishop uh, to Miorica. It makes sense as a trading kingdom. Uh, we'd, we'd want to secure more of like the, the Mediterranean Sea, especially from heathens. And Miorica is, is very important historically for that. So we will prepare a war to take Miorica as a, as a zealous king. We will go for that. We have expanded in quite a while. This is a good song. Turn this up. Oh, that's our rival. Ekaterani is in my council chambers once more. How the fuck is she getting in here? Brutally on some nonsense about how I have wronged her. Her eyes are aflame as she cursed my name once again, and her collar only rises as I dismiss her anger with a scornful shake of the head. As she continues to braid me, even as I snipe back retorts in turn, I catch myself considering her eyes again. Oh no. No sooner have I snapped out of the small river tay when I find my gaze drifting over to the- No, dude. Don't- don't fuck- She killed your dog, bro. What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no. Dude, you never get back with your crazy fucking ex. You, you don't do that. Oh no. Okay. He wants to- He wants to hate screw his ex-wife. Would he do that? I mean, the character clearly wants to right now. We gain stress if we don't. She killed our dog, man. <laughs> Holy shit, he is forgiving though. Oh no. Oh. This is disgusting, man. We'll do it. Oh. Pull. Yeah. All right. Flash pull. I'll do a one minute pull. I'm really, I can't decide here. You guys can choose it. Okay. So are we going to get back with our crazy ex-wife who our father forced us to divorce? He gave us money and he forced us to divorce her to marry our old wife who died of cancer. This one is our crazy ex-wife who's been fucking with us for the last five years, including probably killing our dog. We then named our current dog after her dead son. Are we gonna try and get back with this woman? Yes or no? Do we make a... Do we do it? This is a one minute poll. We'll make it quick. If my fucking poll settings will work. Yes. No. All right. All right. Pulls up. Make the call. Make, make the fucking call. Jesus, man. You guys are all currently neurons in King Alessandro II's brain. Some of those neurons are probably located in the penis, but like, I don't know how that's, that's not, that doesn't make any sense, but my point is there. So. Are we getting back with this woman? Princess Ekaterina. Now, remember, we, we did marry her originally for love. You can see the love we have for her right here. 
Guys, can can you see why we love her? Does anyone see why we love this woman? Anyone anyone see it? It's tied. Is it fucking really? Let me look at the results. Oh man. Oh my god, it is. Yes, no. Oh fuck. Yes is winning. Oh no. <laughs> Hopefully, we see much more of each other. We may we may fail at this though. We're gonna attempt a seduction attempt on her. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man. King Alessandro. This is also the woman we got our nickname from. We got the nickname Strong Arm for beating this woman in a fucking arm wrestling competition. Fucking hell. They're gonna follow MT Busy. He thinks he loves her, but it's really warm, but just wants to bang her to relieve stress. That's exactly what this is. My daughter-in-law, Istra Rita, has given birth to a son. Good, we have a grandson now. And he's a giant as well. Gabinu de Taurus. We're going to give him a martial education. We need to make a good warrior of the cross and our grandson. Good lad. Let's find, let's find him someone to teach him. It's not going to be our son. We love our son, but... He's not a he's not a competent man. If we're gonna if we're gonna be honest, find him a good warrior. We'll get we'll get Bazone to teach him. Bazone is a very good knight. Name him Alessandro. Well, we could. He's already been named. His name is gonna be Gabinu. 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 We're gonna go with Gabinu. Yeah, it is lollipop. This dude's straight just shooting from the dick right now. Literally. Well, if he's successful. Wonderful. Pay homage. Beautiful. We have a 95% success chance of our fucking ex. <laughs> oh no. Well, the raised voice has reached me yet again. I quenched my instinct to turn on my heel. A constant bickering of my vassal Jedek Siru and my daughter in law Estra Essen Trude is enough to drive a man mad. Something must be done. Can I retreat the situation as an exercise in mediation or eavesdrop and approach one of them with my sympathies afterward? We'll try and make them see sense. We'll do Diplo. And uh, we failed. We pissed off the Jedi Siru. Also, I'm gonna get it saved because I don't want to crash into lose this fucking crazy event chain because it is fucking wild. Yeah, 95 chance. Well, I wonder why. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Oh boy. For the kingdom of Sardinia, Corsica, it is known that I must surely make, take a queen concert to rule alongside me. And thus I must suffer through propositions offered by the children of my vassals, whose only crime is to want to please their parents. One such petition now has my attention. As Kuridari Karulu, a port of Taurus, presents his daughter to me. Although Ilya is clearly noble-born, she's got a photographic memory. She's 20, though, bro. That's be normal. Uh, I find my eyes irresistibly drawn to an unknown woman at the back of the court whose beauty is such that I could mistake them for an angel. Bro. A prom from Curador Karolu brings me out of my reverie. He expects a response to his dollar's proposal. There's another wo woman. Okay, new poll. Do we keep going after our batshit crazy ex-wife? Or do we go after Eusebia Debosa, who, as you can clearly see, is kind of hard to miss. She's a beautiful, hell genius, mastermind philosopher. All right, it's another poll. Do we go for our crazy ex-wife or do we go for her? One minute flash pull. What are we doing? What are we doing? But can we even have kids at our age? Does it matter? I don't think that's the current thing on his mind. I'm going to be honest with you, Odyssey. I don't think kids is what he's, I mean, to a degree, thinking about in relation to this woman. Generally. Maybe in a small part. But I don't know. 
I don't know. What do we think? Who are, what are we going to do here? The batshit crazy ex-wife or the beautiful genius hail mastermind philosopher. We may fail. We could fail both, though. Remember that. There's no sure, sure thing here. Now, we are a king, but we're also old as shit. So, you know, just saying. What is... Yeah, his end of life is wild. Yeah, she's a, she, that, she is a pretty impressive woman. I'll give her that. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. All right, what have we got? Isobia. All right. I must know who that is. The time has come to let my feelings towards Isobia. We just met her. We saw her across. Dude, bro, you got to play it slow. We're going to write her a love poem because we're a poet. Let's hope she likes poetry. The candle is burning low when I finally finish my poem. Before I send it, I give one last read. Your eyes are what gives meaning to my life. I have no other desire but to feel your lips touch mine. Jesus, he's fucking horny. Uh, that I made no true joy. May our love grow and flourish ever more. That's a shitty poem, but let's see. The waiting is unbearable. The thought of rejection makes my sick to my stomach. When her reply arrives, I tear the seal with shaking hands. Well, I cannot encourage you, my liege. I am most grateful for your kind words. Your fist faithfully, Eusobia. Mm. We're, we didn't fail. We didn't fail. My uncle, Prince Miguel, approaches the throne of a young man in tow. My nephew and king. My grandson, Nizo. Word I can't say. He's a deaf, fecan, glowing, thrifty clerk. Whoa. Um, 60 honor serving in the retinue of knights. He's very incompetent. This is a, this is a family hiring. Give him the opportunity to prove his quality. Need to smile weakly. I am only a middling swordsman. I hope to learn to give to your service. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. We'll make him a knight. He's family. My daughter, Sarah, the absolute unit herself, shows me a page filled with unfamiliar symbols insisting on legibility. I developed a written language specifically for the women of the court since the letters are mostly taught to men. If you allow it, I will begin teaching ladies at once. Eh, do, do whatever you want. We love our daughter. She, she can do whatever she wants. I don't think this is true, but all right. On my way to somewhere, I pass by a hill near a small village and notice a young man and woman playing with their child. They look happy together, enjoying each other's company. Oh, okay, it's another one. That's that's fair. They seem like good people. Hell yeah. Man. Oh no, it's our crazy ex. Uh oh. The tavern in Logidora is usually a perfect place to forget about the troubles of the world, but tonight is an exception. And Ill luck, as ill luck would have it, sitting just one table over from Alia and I is my rival at Katerina. This isn't the woman we're seducing, right? No, this is another... He's just always in the company of less pretty women lately. Bro, you're really using that king title, aren't you? Uh, she has been being a nuisance since we arrived. All it took was one more accidental spill of her spice wine over my arm, as suddenly Alia was on her feet. And Katrina rises and turns the two in the process of a ragor, drunken sparring up by the time I managed to haul myself to my feet as well. <laughs> Fuck her shit up! Oh shit, we encouraged our fucking friend and she beat the shit out of our ex-wife. The one we were just trying to seduce again. Oh boy. Oh boy. King Alessandro, you fucking... No. Oh. What's the curse? What the fuck is with our family and getting drunk? Listen, alcoholism is probably hereditary and it sure is fuck hereditary in our family. I can assure you of that. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not know who, someone is planning to kill my sister, Adila. She's the one who murdered the Pope's father, so I'm not surprised. That's unfortunate. I, I really don't know what we can do to stop that. If the Pope's trying to kill our sister, I really don't think there's much we can do. Ooh. Sweet lady, you, Sylvia. I size a kneel before her. My only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. We're simping so hard for this woman, and I really don't blame him. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love for you? Yusobia gives me a long look. Lady Branca's necklace is lovely, she says, and nods her head in the direction of my kinswoman, Judasa Branca. But it would look even better around my neck. We'll give her a favor to take her necklace. We'll, get, we'll give our... Uh, who's that? Our sister? It's our vassal. We'll give her a favor for the necklace. She really likes us. She's intimidated by us. She really likes us. Oh, boy. Our chance of success is 100%. Oh, damn. 
Alessandro, you fucking dog. Goddamn, boy. At least he's using the power of the king to his full extent. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Absolutely. He's, uh... He's not afraid to throw that weight around. Lady of Sophia, let me prove my devotion to you in any way you deem fit. You should be upon it as my request uh, for a while while her face lights up. I've been plagued by nightmares lately. If you are truly devoted to me, you will stand guard outside my chambers and make sure no evil reaches me. We'll do it. We succeeded! Aha! We literally stood outside of her fucking chamber all night. Again. Normally, I wouldn't approve of such simp behavior. I don't normally approve of this bullshit. However, I will make an exception for this woman. There is an exception to be made here on this on this account. We'll ask more money from the Pope, too. But Spybrush has come to a grave news. It is Alfonsina, the daughter of Mayor Guillaume of Ramini, who is plotting against my sister and friend, Adila. Oh, she's an adulterer peasant leader. She's too far away for us to do anything. Necklaces around the neck look lovely. You know what else looks lovely around there? Their neck, a noose. What? Are you suggesting we murder this poor woman? Also, Yusobi is also using the power of the gold digger to its full extent. Oh yeah, she's a professional. She's a fucking professional. Yeah, yeah, no, no. You know, uh, there's 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 only one other woman I found in CK3 who's worthy of, of breaking the simp rule, and that's Matilda of Tuscany. We found the only other woman capable of, of breaking the rule, which is Yusobia Dibosa. She would also be up there with Matilda. By gods and nails, these accursed children. My daughter Philomino and her compatriot Miguel are caught red-handed at having stuck into the armory, though they know weapons are dangerous. Miguel had hurt himself, but fortunately, Philomino ran outside and grabbed the nearest adult, admitting something they'd done. Philomino looks genuinely distraught. I don't think she'll be dishonest ever again. Good. We'll make her, we'll make her honest. She is now an honest, zealous, rowdy... Woman, damn, our daughter is pretty fucking chill. Hell yeah. I should give an invitation to a feast in Cesaria and a seat close to Sylvia. Despite my determined attempts, I have failed to strike up conversation. He's probably rendered speechless by the intensity of my affections. She let out a massive fucking fart. Beautiful. Uh, we're, we're gonna stay quiet. We're not, we're not gonna say anything. We won't, we won't risk anything there. It's kind of gross, but she, she's still, she's still uh, simp worthy. You would die from Matilda of Tuscany. <laughs> Average CK3 player be like, when did you plan on changing to EU4? I'm going to go all the way to 1444, uh, Rybubs. We're going to go all the way to 1444. When Yusobia suggested a hunt, I did not hesitate to organize one. I would do anything for a mere glimpse of my spring blossom. Oh, come on, dude. I'm stalking through the underbrush. My page at my heel, my hound just ahead. It seems as if I, I had found was trail, when suddenly my concentration was shattered by a woman's scream. We're gonna we're gonna run after her. Uh within what might have been a minute, but for like an hour, I've reached a clearing. Yusobi is on the ground before me, disabled and weaponless. A officer, uh, I just about to strike stands a huge wolf. Oh fuck! My arrow strikes true, and the beast falls to the ground. For a moment, all Yusobi could do is stare, but then she stumbles towards me and throws herself into my arms. Oh boy! All right, we can. Uh... She can. She becomes our soulmate. Oh shit, we fucking succeeded by killing a wolf that almost murdered her. Jesus Christ, Alessandro is a fucking lucky dude. All right, we are now fucking Eusobia de Bosa, who is now our soulmate. She is a beautiful hail genius. Man, if we had any kids with her, we still technically could. We're 56. Do we marry her? Do we marry this woman? Or do we keep her as a side? That, I'll do another poll for that. Flash poll. What are we going to do with this woman? I can't say ho. Oh, god damn it. So, side woman. You can't say ho on Twitch? Bro, what the fuck? Jeff Bezos is taking away my freedom of speech. This is fucking unacceptable. I bet bold you can't say on, on Twitch, too. If I type bold in chat, I wonder if it will block that. I wonder if it will block uh, Eat the Rich. I don't know. Anyway. All right. What are we doing with this woman? 
Hose? Yeah, I could have tried that. That's true. Oh, well. What are we doing with you, Sylvia? Our soulmate. The woman we successfully seduced and killed a wolf in order to be with. A woman and like any we have ever met before. What do we what do we do with this woman? We are zealous and fickle though, be warned. We are a zealous and fickle woman. And our ex-wife did die from cancer, so there's some ethical issues here, but that's fine. Side dish. There we go. I should have said that. That's way more. That's way better. Mary! Alrighty. We will marry this woman. Ah, Queen Eusobia, my beauty. To think that I can embrace you openly now with the blessings of both Saint Bridget and the people around us. I am the happiest man alive. Alright. We're gonna get married. We'll have a we'll have a big marriage. We're gonna do this right. What we gave her our fucking crown. We're build we're wearing our second crown. She's she's wearing the iron crown of Lombardy. Damn. We gave our soulmate the historical crown of our family, and we wore the second-hand crown. This is some simp behavior, if I've ever seen it. Oh, we'll make a spectacle for the ages. We've got to marry this woman, right? The budget greatly increases. That's fine. We're going to invite everyone. Everyone! By St. Joseph, what a hassle this is. My servants come one after the other with the questions never end. My head is swimming. Red with blue flowers, fresh quill or almond eggs. It's enough to drive a man mad. So in my consternation, uh, our our son's uh, wife, nice, our issue true day, our daughter-in-law. Perhaps he could use some help with this. Absolutely. Beautiful. Our, our son's wife helped us. All right, we've got a wedding. Big old wedding. Greatly improves. Very nice. And we are married. After walking the length of the hall in a careful ceremony, I now stand at the altar with Queen Eusobia of Sardinia y Corsica across from me. So close I could touch her. My heart is racing with fear and excitement. The priest turns to me and asks for me to say those sacred words. I do. Wonderful. We've married her. Alright, let's hope we just have let's hope we have a child. God damn. Just make a fucking demigod here. Unconcerned with any etiquette, my cousin Jedi Gunari slaps you on the back. I mean it, he exclaims. I'll do anything you ask of me. Anything at all. Ask me, and it will be done. He's drunk as shit, like all our family are at every fucking meetup we have. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, well, he doesn't know what he's saying. We wouldn't hold that against him. All right, what are we going to do with all this money? I listen intently to Princess Selina as she carelessly reveals all manner of things. Distracted by trying to get one last drop from her tankard. Our family are such fucking drunks, dude. She is oblivious to how careful I am paying attention. Once she realizes, she, start, she starts getting up. I'm only rambling. It's not true, any of it. She's a witch? Wait, is she a witch? She's a witch. Our aunt is a witch, apparently. Well, as a good Christian, we would not appreciate that. No, Yusubi is not mediocre. That is very true. He was talking about a garden hoe. Yes, of course I was. I would never say anything else. Yeah, I think we made it. We, we simped enough. We've befriended our wife. Jesus Christ. She's our wife, our queen, and our soulmate. This dude is literally having a happy ending. If he gets a child out of this, my God, man. We'll uh, we'll go ahead and make a make a deal. Try and get a better deal on this. We haggled successfully. Nice. We got a decorated Limbro figurine. It gives us learning and a health boost. Nice. Once we're past the next two souls, Jedex here beams at me. Yes, quite good indeed. I couldn't have done it better myself. You know what we're gonna also do? We're gonna start to use our accessories that give us more fertility. That's what we're gonna do. Where is it? Selection doesn't work. That's not what we need. We want the, yes, fertility brooch. And then we want the health bonus. There we go. That'll increase our chances of having a kid. Burn her at the stake. 
He's starting going in the direction of his father, but then Eusobia showed up and suddenly it's just 180 degrees and everything was lovely again. Yeah. Yep. Eusobia made the end of his life quite good. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. Our wife's pregnant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. Let's see if we get a demigod child. Again, I want to remind y'all, I'm using a mod that makes it so we actually don't know for sure the traits of our children until we, they come of age. So we actually won't know if our kids are going to have good traits until they, they get older. Just a heads up about that. So if it says that we don't have some good stuff, we got to keep that in mind. I hope you're my servants having an animated conversation. They are complaining about another servant of mine who is known for a rather cruel nature towards some of the other servants, and she often, often bullies them. It's so no secret that many of my servants detest this woman. If she were only kinder, the taller servant says, shaking his head, did she not never learn, uh, should she never learn how to be kind? One has to wonder if she was even capable of feeling. The short and stout servant says, crossing her arms. Alas, we can't do anything because she serves our lord loyally and competently, without flaw. So what do we do? We're gonna lecture her. Where she needs to be a good Christian. None of this bullshit. We wouldn't make her, we wouldn't make that kid our heir. We wouldn't do that. We would try and potentially get him a title, though, somewhere else. To name my granddaughter Patricia was taught a lesson in vassal management by Alvaru. That's our brother, our younger brother. Nice. Um, it was quite a complicated course. Necessary, but perhaps a bit beyond Patricia's grasp. Everyone makes mistakes. Patricia explains, when I rule, I will forgive and let live, so that my realm may prosper. Perhaps she would be too forgiving a ruler. We're forgiving as well. It's, it's a good trait, in our eye, at least. We'll let it go. We'll upgrade the pilgrim's quarters. We still have that special temple. Remember the temple we got in the start of the game? The one where we got that holy relic? Does anyone remember what the holy relic is that everyone's coming to see in Cesari? Would Alessandro II do that now? No, he absolutely wouldn't. I don't think so. He is fickle, but he's also a zealous man. And I don't think a good Christian would break the line of inheritance like that. We had a son. Hmm. Then again. Oh boy. What are we naming this child? Yeah, it was it was the holy the holy foreskin. That's that's what's in the temple. That's why all the pilgrims are coming. What are we gonna name our son? Anyone got a good name? He has the potential to be beautiful, a genius, and hell. Like I said, we don't know for sure until he comes of age. But he has a high chance of getting all of these when he comes of age. Atreus, that's a good one. Alessandro, any other good names? I do like Atreus, that is a good name. It's a Greek name. And we have Greek ancestry. We married into the Byzantine royal family two generations ago. Solomon, that's a winner. That's a fucking winner. That's the name for this child. Prince Solomon. What kind of education should we give him? What are we thinking? What kind of education for, for Prince Solomon, Ohio? <laughs> Stuff almost. God damn it. Ohio is not a name befitting a man of this caliber. A child of this caliber. Although there is no way to conclusively prove it, Count Rapoto of Linz has brought forward evidence that Alina is not the daughter of my father, King Simeon. Oh no. Is this when we find out? Oh no. This is when we find out. But that she was fathered by my uncle, Castoro. How could my mother do this to us? Olina, on the other hand, has no blame in this, yet her repercussions might be dire. Oh no, the secret got to us. I am lost for words. Oh man. We'll give him learning like Solomon. We'll give we'll do a learning leader. Okay, thank you for the follow, Unlucku. Okay, so let's go over what just happened, because this is really important. Our father probably didn't have any of our kids, our siblings, including us. We found that out at the end of last game, right before King Simeon the Great died, our greatest leader, successfully pushed the Muslims out of Iberia. He has a laundry list of things he did. He's a great man. Right before he fucking died, he found out that his wife had been fucking other people. There were rumors that she was an adulteress, but it got confirmed right before he died. And we specifically found out that our sister also wasn't 
our um what was not of of our mother's uh, line so so it was our brother's his daughter was our brother's child now what's important to remember here is that daughter was our third our, our character's technically third child that means chances are the other three kids were also not king simeons we were the i believe the first child of our mother and if our third child or our third uh, sibling was of our uncle our, our father's brother's line there's a good chance we are too our father found that out and chose to tell no one he went to the grave with that secret but it's come out again we now know that our sister the third born of our father is not our father's child we would probably be smart enough to then conclude that there's a good chance we're not king simeon's son which means we probably now know that we are prince castoro's son who we also look really close to we wouldn't know that because there's no like photographs right but we watching this happen know that he looks a lot like his fucking uncle so all right he knows this now <laughs> Ooh, that's rough as one plate of food is replaced by another my sister alina goes on and on about some tome collections and that's how we salvage that mess are you sure i'm not boring you no 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 go on we're no we're fickle oh we don't have a bad option here we'll, we'll talk more to our sister that's the one we found out isn't our father's, so. I arrived back at the castle after a long, lonely walk. Another year passed, another year older. I was born this day 58 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it saddens me that I've not heard from my wife, Eusebia, or any of my friends today. I church alone to my chamber is loneliness impeding my lazy feet, when I hear a clang and a hushed whisper from around the hallway. Oh, we had a surprise party. Nice. We got a claim of Miorica. Nice. What a surprise. All my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as I begin the next year of my life. There's even an entire table laden with candied figs, my favorite. I cannot believe that you Soviet. Damn, she's a good fucking wife, too. Oh, no, she's sick. Fuck. Went into all the trouble of arranging this in secret. I had no clue of such a thoughtful surprise. We've been offered three presents by our friend Simon. Oh, Simon showed up. He's the... Damn, he's the Duke of Lower Lorraine. He traveled all the way to Sardinia. Take the medium-sized gift. We got the Sardinian book about books. <laughs> it gives learning lifestyle increase. Nice. All right, cool. Is this recorded information or just a false hopeful belief? About what, Curse? About about like uh, our, our, our uncle being our real father? We, we got conclusive evidence from one of our vassals that our sister was our uncle's daughter. So that was conclusive proof. We'd have no definitive proof that we are our uncle's child, but we'd suspect it at this point. I'm out walking Vranislav when suddenly I see my vassal Jedek Sebastianu approach with a beautiful black dog. Before either of us can react, they run off together. I'm sure they're fine. Nice. We're now known as a famous reveler. Hell yeah. My uh, vassal Jedek Sebastianu, I find the two dogs after a while in the middle of a vicious fight. Pull your mud off! After I finally grab Hanrislav to back off, Jedek Sebastiano leaves without so much as a backward glance. That's our vassal, who's 13, and he's dyslexic. Oof. Our dog's alright, though. We'll, we'll make our... What's, what education does she have? Learning? Let's give her... Uh, our wife will, will train our, our daughter. It's not her daughter, but that's fine. Need more knights. We'll go for total line. And we'll invite more knights to our court. We'll go pet our dog too, because we are a little stressed right now. Not too badly, but a little bit. She said, quick get to the doctors. Yeah, we've got a physician, I believe. Hold on, let me check that. No, we have a really bad physician, actually. I just remembered that. Let's search for a new physician. Our physician is really fucking incompetent. We are now the head of the dynasty. Wonderful. We took it from our nephew. From my... Rosalia? Corlota? Or Dima? Hunchback lunatic genius. We'll go with Rosalia. 
Rosalia is our new physician. She's much better. It's a book about writing, I guess. I guess so, about language or making books and things like that. I wonder what is written in a book which is about books, even though it is a book itself. So I wonder what was written in the book about books. Probably like an, like what would now be like an English textbook on like how to write and how like grammar and phonetics and stuff work. I'd imagine, I hope. My daughter of Philomena seems to be enjoying our latest feast immensely. Of all the things she could have stopped talking about the rich clothes and glittering gold she saw there. Greedy? Oh, that's not very Christian. We'll, we'll make her gregarious. We're not going to encourage our... No, that's... No, that's cursed. We're going to make her gregarious. We're, we're also... We, we go to feasts a lot, so we'll make her gregarious. She's a gregarious, honest, zealous woman. Upstanding Christian. Good daughter. We'll put the Sardinian book about books up. Our thing is bugged, so we can't see it. And then we'll put up the Toshidu goblet as well. Cool. There we go. We can't afford a better court. What is the ranking of our court, though? That I am I am curious about that. We are ranked 10th in the world. We actually have a very prestigious court. Makes sense. We're, we're a really wealthy, very famous family, and we're the, the trading port of the Mediterranean besides Constantinople. Our development went down by three levels. What the fuck? That's worrying. How's it going, uh, Snitzelbrot? How you doing? What is up? It might actually be just the book about books. Also, I didn't say so earlier. Uh, thank you for the follow, Sunbird uh, Steak84, if you're still here. I don't think I said that, and I apologize. Let's go on a crusade. It's time. We're a religious man. We've never been to Jerusalem. It's time to go on a pilgrimage. At the end of life, we're 58. We'd be thinking about our immortal soul. So we're going to go. It's fine now. Let's find someone to educate our son, Prince Solomon, as well. He has a learning education, so let's let's get our we can get our wife to train him. Let's see if we can send him for like a like someone to, to teach him. Um, we're really distinguished. Let's see if we can find like a great scholar or something to to teach our our, our son Prince Solomon. Let's see. Um, can the Pope take on wards? Oh. Oh? <gasps> We're gonna send Prince Solomon to be taught by the Pope, Pope Innocentius III, the King Bishop of Fashion. Hell yeah. He is a cynic cynical, greedy, chaste man, but he's the Pope and we're zealous, so we respect him regardless. He's a scholar, a journaler, intelligent, and he is 45 learning Wilson Gabinu or sorry Solomon Gabinu was his original name we decided against that Solomon will be taught by the Pope only fitting I'm plodding along the lengthy procession towards Jerusalem and thinking of the comforts I left behind in Cesare when I hear my name shouted from the rear my friend Elia dashes up to me and exclaims King Alessandro what luck would we journey towards this very same holy site would you care to take the company along in the lonely path to Jerusalem We're zealous, so we wouldn't want to. It's our diplomacy. 19. 18. We're fickle, though, so we'd tell her, shame on you. We're gonna lose a friend. <laughs> Fuck. That's cold as hell. Alright. Muslim Valencia is back. Is it really? Uh-oh. Uh, one second. It seems I have not taken well to all this travel. Perhaps it's the strange lands filled with an unfamiliar air. Perhaps my furs are not warm enough. Either way, my cough has been persistent for weeks. And this morning, I could barely muster the strength to get out of bed. Do I even have the strength to continue onwards? We're ill. Uh-oh. Valencia used... Whoa, that's a big Navarra. Holy shit. Valencia. Am I looking at the wrong Valencia? Yes, I am. Yes, you were right. They are Muslim again down here. Okay, the Karuans are in charge. That's a little worrying. What's up, Imbo? All right, I missed some stuff. Let me, let me go back. Ah, Hamu, any plan to expand your lineage in Barcelona so you have uh, mainland lands? Maybe at some point. We'll see. When we get back, we have a claim on um, Majorca, so we'll, we'll invade them. Atheist Pope makes sense. He's a complicated man, but again, we're zealous. It'd probably just be rumors. We wouldn't believe them as a zealous man. What's up, Sonic? How did your wife get pregnant when you were not at court? Uh, 
I mean, to be fair, it takes time for a pregnancy to become apparent, and we could have screwed her before we left. We're going to take some copium and say that's what's happened, uh, and, and not think too hard about things. Grim Bita is your grandson, Solomon's your son, was originally called Ponzu. Okay, yes, thank you. Thank you, Trucker Nero. My memory is absolute garbage. Let's hope we don't fucking die. Wonderful, we made it to, uh, we made it to the Holy Land. All right, we're gonna go ahead and change up our appearance. We're very religious. We just took a pilgrimage. We're about to die. We got sick in the Holy Land. We take that as the sign from God. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna wear really, really common clothing. Where is it? There's a hat I really wanna wear. It's the pilgrimage hat. Where's that at? Not those. There it is. We're gonna grow out our beard while we're on more while out there too. Grow out our hair a bit. We'll get rid of our cloak and we'll take just a very simple common cloak. And then we're gonna wear the pilgrim ampule as well. And we will take off our ring. Beautiful. He's coming back a very, a very, a very religious man. Gonna follow Sonic. I don't want to say damn you, Hammer Robin, for making uh, me someone who watches Twitch streams. I only get the notifications when this started. Oh, I apologize, Moscow. I, I apologize for that. That's my bad, I suppose. But I appreciate you being willing to watch. How do you... Uh, I, that. I mean, she is pretty. Yeah. No, no. We're not going to think too hard about that. We don't want to think about that. We already just found out we might be an illegitimate child, so he'd just be, like, repressing that heavily. Eclipse through your hair. It does, but I like the look a little bit. I don't think it's good to only have one option when you have multiple options when you look beautiful and have high sex appeal. Eusobia may be seeing it pretty similarly. Now, we are friends and soulmates, so goddamn, if that's not our kid, that's cold as fuck. My cousin Jedi Gennari approaches me, rage in his eyes and a dog in his hand, dragged along by the scruff of his neck. As he reaches me, I see that it is my uh, dear Hanislav he is holding. I found this beast among my things. What wasn't chewed on was uh, covered in excrement. We like him. We don't have the money though, so that's that's rough, bud. A pedal in a cloak with dozens of baubles and knickknacks sewn into it rattles up to me. I have with me a precious weapon, only will be for your hands. The Holy Lance of Antioch, the Spear of Destiny itself. You shall truly annihilate the infidel on the battlefield with this. She pulls out a tiny shard of metal, which looks rather like a sewing needle. We have St. George's femur now too. Did we actually get an item or was it no, it wasn't it wasn't the actual one. We didn't get the Lance of Destiny. God damn it. That would have been fucking sick. Is she really your soulmate though? It just uh, a thing you may have made in your mind. Oh boy. Oh boy. I, um He is fickle. As I woke this morning, I saw Razor Sunlight going through my window and in a moment I realized I had slipped slightly for the first time in a week. Sorry, we're better again. We're back home now. We're no longer sick. It's a great time to go ahead and show our faith by fighting the heathen and taking Miorca. Oh god, they have a lot of soldiers, but so do we. This is actually going to be a pretty big war. Let's do it. Call the banners! And let's call the Teutons too. They're our holy order. We'll put them underneath. We'll put the leader of the Teutonic Order in charge. And head for Miorca to take it from the heathens. We're gonna run a deficit, but that's fine. Later you find out the needle is actually part of the spear. Fuck. Well, that would be inconvenient, wouldn't it? We landed. Oh, we'll, we'll give her. Uh, no, no, no. We'll give her generous. We landed. We met the heathen on the battlefield. Shigasa Sibin Najat. Also, I need to move my camera because I noticed when I was ever editing it fucking covers some of this stuff. Bear with me. It covers the battle. So I'm gonna try this position here. Like line it up correctly. There we go. Alright, you can actually see the battle now. And we have succeeded. Beautiful. Hold on, I'm not playing crusading music. That's 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 the heathen behavior. One moment. I have a I have a crusader playlist.
I apologize for my heresy. That's not the right one. There's the really good one. I want the really good one. <laughs> yeah. This is a fucking goaded fucking soundtrack from Medieval Total War. Ah, oh, we had a mental break yet again. We're really religious. We're gonna become flagellant. Like, like our father before us, we are gonna begin to beat ourselves. We're becoming even more zealous in our later years. We had another daughter with you. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That's. Oh man. We had another daughter with our queen, Eusobia. We'll make her. We're really religious, so we'll give her a learning education. We'll name her. We can name her after our, her mother, our wife. And yeah, we'll go for that. Eusobia the second. We'll ask the Pope for gold since we're crusading for him right now. I mean, not an official crusade, but certainly one against the heathens. Uh oh, it's a lot of, it's a lot of soldiers. Let's go finish them off. I don't, I don't want to get caught off guard here. Thank you for the follow. Don't be a hero, oh Billy. One. Thank you for the follow. The treasury is dead, yes, but we're fighting heathens, so it doesn't matter. You're no longer on a pilgrimage. That is very true. We are leading our men. We have the Teutonic Order on Sardinia, so we're going to wear Teutonic clothing. Let's go for uh, something a little bit more heroic. No, 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 that's Pipe Master. There we go. It goes through his hat, but we'll take off his hat. Let's go for... Where is it? There we go. That's what we're talking about. And then we'll go for... I need, we need a better cloak. Where's the Crusader one? That's better. He's decked the fuck out. Let's put him in charge of this army. That's a fucking Crusader. Ooh. I think we'll win this. We'll engage their army. They outnumber us. They have more cavalry. But we have God behind us. What else do we need? Nothing. That was close though, my god. They had way better fucking units. But we defeated them. We routed the heathen. Let's finish them off. Slaughter them on the island. Take no prisoners. Our wife's pregnant again when we're out crusading. Oh no. <laughs> Our family can't catch a fucking break with cheating, can they? Fuck. We're literally fighting for the Lord. Alright. Um, our our, our uh, absolute unit daughter is going to marry the Duke of Barcelona. Ooh. We'll go to their capital. Their king uh, Alex looks like a ghost from Modern Warfare 2 car scene. A little bit, yeah. How are the Mongols looking? That's a good question. Is he still alive? Demujin. Yes, he is. God, those stats. Look at that. 39 martial, 55 prowess. Mongol culture hasn't actually expanded a lot. Tengri and Mahayana is definitely growing, though. Oh, yeah. They're big boys. Demons. Demons from the east. It's fine. There are tales that Prester John himself is preparing to push back these devils. That's what the Pope has told us. Worry not, for in our darkest hour, Prester John will be there to fight back the heathen. We need not worry. Oh man, this army will not die. Oh no, I'm out riding my dog Haranislav behind me. We took him on the crusade, that's on us. When she suddenly runs off in the hills, my retinue assures me she will be back. Fuck. Oh no, we're on a crusade right now. We're not getting that dog back. Oh! Oh no. 
No matter how long I wait, Hanislav does not return. Just as I'm about to give up, a writer from my Reddit new returns with disturbing news. She swears she saw my rival, our ex, crazy ex-wife, Ekaterina Skulky Run. This bitch followed us to Iberia in a crusade just to kill our fucking dog a second time. This is the second fucking dog she's killed. <laughs> oh no. She followed us on a crusade to kill our dog. And we almost screwed that woman again. Thank goodness you, Sylvia, showed up. Holy fuck. The crazy ex is back. Oh shit, we caught the Emir. Beautiful. Hold on, can I do something extreme here? In the light of the Lord, the Emir of Makaria for crimes against the faith and being unholy. Holy, we'll be crucified. Would we do that? No, we'd burn him. We're gonna burn him alive. We have to finish this war now because we burn the Emir alive. The Lord would will it. We will not seek peace with the Emir for his life. No, 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 no. We will burn him alive. We had another mental break from murdering him. I'm still brooding on my throne. In Iberia. My heart heavy with memory, mulling over things because our dog just got killed by our ex-wife. Then years and years ago, do I truly have God's eye? Have my faith been a torch to the dark or a pyre of my own folly? Have I been truly good, done the right thing? My head throbs. Why would God task me with ruling if he knew it would make me this miserable? We're going to go beat ourselves. We're going to flagellate ourselves. Oh boy. That's, that's a... No. Not, no time for that. We're out crusading. Oh my god. I think our army's going to lose. We had another son. Oh my god. We're having so many. We're having so many children with our wife. We're gonna also give him a learning education. We'll give him a Cyrus. Cyrus is a Catholic name. We're gonna name our other demigod son Cyrus. I'm sure that will not cause problems down the line. We're gonna lose in Miorca. Oh man. The Teutons got slaughtered. Oh, sh shit. Let's see if we can get there in time to back them up. We've been overwhelmed by stress. Let's go. Our dog's dead. We can't fucking... We're going to adopt a new dog. God damn it. It's the third one. What do we want to name this dog? This is our third dog. The last two have been killed by our ex-wife. We have another dog. What are we naming this one? What's, what's the, like a holy name for this dog? What did you feed your daughter that she is giant with other giants? Our, our mother's a giant. That's why. It runs the family. Fuck the ex. No, I agree. I agree. We need a name for our third dog. What's it? What's it? Is there any, like, names, like, for dogs in the Bible? Were there any dogs in the Bible? I haven't read the Bible in a very long time. Um... I don't think anyone had dogs in the Bible, did they? The Bible mentioned dogs 40 times. What is it? Dogs are evil. Oh, no. Loving a pet dog is idolatry? That's in the Bible? Jesus, man. That's rough. All right. Well, Pepper, that's rough. I'm Joseph. We'll, we'll, name, we'll name the dog Joseph. I did not know that. That's really sad. Goddamn. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Oh, we almost got there in time. Oh, here it is. Stood on the ridge overlooking the Battle of Awalia. A Makiria, a short distance from the front line. Me and Jedi Gunari observe the enemy's forces' movements. Everything is going as planned in accordance to what I organized at the start of the battle. We almost got there in time, but unfortunately the Teutonic Order was slaughtered to the last man. We want reposition our men to defend this charge, he says, before asking to go himself to assist in commanding the tactical changes. No, no. No, no. We will fight with fire. With fire. Breaking into a sprint, I lead my personal guard into the front. Exposed section of the enemy advance, who are distracted by my men attempting to contain the threat. Judah Ganari watches on amazed as my counterattack smashes through the enemy's push and forces them back to the original position. I continue to fight on the front line to provide support until the men can reorganize, after which I withdraw myself back to my original commanding position. See, Jedi Gunari, 
Strength beats strategy. We got prowess and we're now an aggressive attacker. Nice. Fitz is, Fitz is vibe these days, I'd say. We're gonna slaughter them in. We need better units though. I just realized I haven't gotten any since the start of the game. We're gonna chase them down. We need to finish them off here. Across the battlefield, I see Wally Mundir atop his horse. I've always learned to try to get into the position of the enemy to better understand how they think and how to prepare for their attacks. But with Wally Mundir, I can't imagine anything past being disgusted by his religious views. Nice. Muwalidism is purely a falsely, uh, plainly false religion. I stop to think. Should I keep trying to learn his image of the battlefield and use it against them, or should I shut off my intrusive religious thoughts? No, we're going to try and become a holy warrior. We might convert, though. No, we won't do that. We won't do that. We're zealous. We would never do such a thing. No, no, no. To get into the mind of the heathen is heresy. Of the worst sort. We're actually, I think, at this point, barely winning this war. We've been just chasing them down. We're not a good strategist, so this checks out. We're just really religious and hardcore. Our daughter came of age. Wonderful. She is a flamboyant trickster. We'll need to find her a wife, but there's no rush. Good. We've killed our army. Let's siege up Majorca. And then if we still need to, we'll go to the capital. We could have ended this war a long time ago. I misspelled Joseph. God damn it. Is it the Old Testament? Most likely. I'd imagine so. Yeah, we could have ended this war a long time ago, but we chose to burn the Emir alive instead. So now we're fighting his son, who absolutely fucking hates us. Why does he like us? We burned his father alive. That makes no sense. My granddaughter Patricia has been harboring a secret affection for Gunari for quite some time. Please tell me these are not relatives. God damn it. Okay. Um. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We're gonna. She's gonna be chased. None of that. Ugh. CK3 sticks again. We're gonna become a strategic commander as well. No, we're a frontline commander. We would not be a strategic commander. We're a, we're a, we're a guns and glory type. Or swords and fury. We'll go with that. Jedi Gavini. And then for our chancellor, we will go for Je No, Jedi Gavini is a better chancellor. We'll get it for our steward. Mm, all these guys suck. We'll go for Aluvaro, our nephew. We could ransom these these prisoners. However, I think it would be much better to burn them alive. We will burn alive both of the willies we've captured. After after sieging out the, the castle of Majorca, we held a celebration where we burned alive the, the willies, and we're also gonna burn alive the Sheik as well. All of them at once. To celebrate our victory. Oh man, that's a big army. We're gonna lose that. <clears throat> All right, let's see if it's the capital. Oh boy. Maybe he hated his father. That could be. Make creates new religion to make dogs accepted. I mean, not a bad thought. Oh no. My liege begs my servant. Won't you please do something? Logadura burns. We must send aid. Does it? Yeah, they get sieged. I continue reading from scripture, surrounded by the sacred symbols of my faith, beseeching God for guidance. Only when it becomes clear that the messenger will not leave me, do I turn. I believe I gave instructions not to be disturbed, I reply. Only in this room, this reality, really makes sense to my fraying mind anymore. Oh no. Can we beat ourselves? Let them all burn. Oh god. There's giant fires going on in our capital, and we're too busy praying, having a mental break. Oh no. Part of our trading hub of Cesari just burned to the ground. Because when news came of it, we were so busy praying to the Lord that we refused to acknowledge it. Whew. Hey, I've already just finished watching your Vicky 3 Iran RP. Nice, man. I hope you enjoyed it. The, the YouTube video I put out. You're also forgiving, so burning them won't make much sense since they didn't try to fight. So I just think Zelda would override that forgiveness. Curse, you gotta remember, he is just having mental break after mental break. He's at stress level two. He is just like going fucking wild. Like he's, he's having a religious crisis right now. So normally, you're absolutely right. But I am going to say, right now, he has so much fucking religious fervor. He has just so much of it that uh, he, he doesn't care. 
what is going to happen if we can role play it out through events is that he'll going to after the end of this crusade is he's going to realize what he's done and then he's going to fucking hate himself that's what we're going to do i haven't forgotten he's forgiven he's just going through like a christian hardcore murder and burn everything arc and then he's going to have to come to terms with that or not shit we went all the way through the fucking playlist more more we lost all the control in our capital from that fire, too. Great Forest is sorry, you said Logodoro. Logodoro is the holding, though. So it would have been this area. We could have said it was like one of the other cities, but I think it would have been Cesari, most likely. King Gilogimu is a new dynasty head. The Taurus family. Oh boy. All right. We are now in the late medieval period. We can get stuff from that. We have everything else right? Yes, we do. Um, we'll go for cranes because we're very uh, we're very economically minded. We're a trading hub. Makes sense. We might have something like that. But can we really not siege that capital out? No, we got allies coming. Ara we we called Aragon in to help us. Because they're married to our daughter. Do they have any kids yet? No, they don't. Yeah, the YouTube vids. I uh, was really looking forward to seeing the end of the game, but oh well. For the, uh, the Iran Vic 3 game? So I streamed the last one last Sunday. I've already edited most of the video for the Iran Vic series, and that one will come out next weekend, most likely. I might put it out this week, but I'll probably put it out on Friday. Today, my personal cook prepared yet another meal by boiling the ingredients. Remembering the derisive Roman maxim, the lazy cook prepares everything by boiling. I decided I might as well ask my cook who, uh, why he is so lazy. Trying to look intimidating as possible, I approach the cook and tell him. Well, let's, we'll just let it go right now. It's fine. We had another fucking daughter. How old are we? We're also not home right now. And our wife is having children. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Unfortunately, those ways are most likely adultery. Shit, they took back Miorca too. This is not a very successful invasion, is it? His, his fervor against the Haven has made this war drag on far too long. To the point that our, our, our holdings are starting to dramatically suffer, frankly. bring reinforcements if we need them we might win if we take the capital we'll see your wife is fucking your uncle 100 percent um let's see that would be uh no all, all our uncles are dead they're all dead we have a an aunt who's still alive that's it we do have a brother who's still alive. As the siege of Walia of Valencia comes to an end, I said upon the events that occurred as I command the siege's strategic decisions. Were their defenses too weak? Were my men or weapons too strong? Either way, it certainly feels like something is off. My liege, a lot of our fortified buildings still use some of the same technology, begins to marshal, begin noticing my look of concern. I look around the room and make myself clear. Until technological developments allow us to improve our forts, we must. Rely on the faith. What else would we do? We're not a godless even. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh fuck. We're gonna probably lose this. We'll send reinforcements. Oh, I fucked up. I wasn't paying attention. Oh no. This war is not going the way I'd hoped. Oh man. That Crusader army just got slaughtered to the last man. This is a very unsuccessful invasion, I have to say. The Lord is not with us today. I thought episode 4 of the uh, I Run Victory game was supposed to be the last one because you said that was... Oh, it was. Yeah, that's what I mean. I said I, I meant like I'm putting a YouTube video out for that one to end it. If, oh, did you watch the VOD, Degenerate? That was the ending. I, I also wish that we didn't have to end that one, but uh, some stuff happened that made it uh, kind of have to happen. I am starting a new one later today. When this is when we're done with CK3 in around an hour, uh, we're going to start the new one, which is going to be Prussia. Just heads up. Opens the doors to Satan.
Okay. Hear me out. Our king has kind of gone a little crazy. He's had multiple mental breaks. His stress levels are almost at max. He is just under religious fervor. He went on a pilgrimage where he almost died. He probably knows that his wife is cheating on him, his soulmate. He knows that he might not be the child of his father, King Simeon. He has extreme religious fervor. We had a child with our second wife, the one that we would see as more like meant to be, King Prince Solomon, who's named after a great religious leader, who is currently being uh, taught by the Pope. I am justifying making a really good heir our heir, and I don't normally do that, but this is a circumstance where there is actually a semi-reasonable reason for it. So we're gonna do a poll. Do we allow Prince Alessandro to remain our heir, our giant son, or our firstborn son of our first wife before she died? Or do we designate the firstborn son of our second wife, Queen, uh, the queen, as our heir? I'm gonna do a poll for this because the religious reasoning here is semi-viable. This does border on a little bit of meta though. And I don't normally do this, but there's valid reason and it's kind of interesting. All right, flash pull. Alessandro has uh, gone off the deep end. Yeah, he's batshit crazy right now. Like this dude is not it himself. He is just, he's goners. So this is the one circumstance I justify something like this. But you guys get to decide. The pull is up, y'all get to decide. What's the religious issue? We named him Solomon. He is from our second wife and he's currently being tutored by the Pope. And he's much more competent than our first son quite clearly. So we, uh, in our mental break, we might think that he's like Solomon Reborn or some bullshit and name him our heir kind of thing, you know? Oh, he will definitely want the seat back. Yes, he will. It, it would probably create a civil war of the family in the future, but... Why are we at a negative right now? Because we got to take Miorca, that's why. Aragon's going to support us. We'll send them all at once. mega army let's do this our granddaughter has come of age name solomon heir god damn all right what was the poll actually what was the real results i'm curious what they were 15 to 4 wow okay all right so this is what's happening before king alessandro the second heir of house torres a holy man leading the armies of christ against the heathen he has lost battle after battle. The holy armor armies of the Teutons lie dead across the island of Majorca. Seeing himself lost by God, lost, lost in the sights of the Lord. Having a complete mental break and clearly out of his mind with religious fervor. Before engaging the heathen in combat, kneels with his men, his holy men, and prays to the Lord. And then in the sight of 14,000 good Christians, names his son Solomon, reborn of the first of his name and heir to House Torres. We're gonna lose a thousand prestige in a moment of religious fervor and mental fucking break. And we have won the battle, truly. The Lord has ordained this. Truly, it is what we must do. Oh boy. Our firstborn son is gonna fucking, oh man. We're gonna get a civil war in House Torres. That's what we're gonna get. All right. Solomon winning by the margins. Yeah, just a bit a little bit. It rightfully belongs to the eldest son, but I expect such a thing from a man who supports the blacks over the greens. Oh, I see how it is, Zodi. You're gonna go there. You're gonna go there, huh? Maybe Zeus is having fun with your wife in bed. There's a good chance of it. Someone's screwing our wife. It's not us. Listen, we have a good relationship with our wife's boyfriend, okay? We hang out sometimes and talk about the Bible. It's, it's fine. There's Miorca. And we won the war. No, we're not going to burn a child alive. Even we wouldn't do that. 
we're not we're not that bad. All right, the war is won. Coming back to Sasari, coming back to the, the what was clearly a, a, a fire has burned our capital. Destruction has happened. Much of our family is now dead. We return home. We got the Amir's battle axe, nice. As such, we break it to our family, our children, and our siblings that we have named Solomon our son. Our wife, of course, is elated. Isobia. Our firstborn children will be quite mad. The game's not going to reflect that, but uh, they would be absolutely fucking livid. So, that is where we're at right now. House of Tor is only uh, on, on ham max. Plus, for more money, we fought the heathen. And hold on, we have we have a number of Lee as prisoner. can't choose that way where's the woolly we're gonna burn him alive we gotta finish off our fucking our, our evil character arc here we're gonna burn all the leaders alive and everyone else we are gonna let go to tell the Muslim world of what we have done and the fear they should give to Christians and Christianity beautiful and we're dying oh boy Oh boy, this would be a wild end for King Alessandro. The strong arm, Torres. Oh man. Oh man. Nobody respects tradition these days. You decide not to burn a single heathen child, but you let the capital society burn and kill hundreds of thousands of Catholic people because you were busy praying. I see where this is going. He's a, he's a, he's a very complicated man. He's a very... Yeah, he knows it too. If his stress levels go down and he doesn't die, he's gonna have to come to terms with what he did. If he doesn't, he's gonna die who he is in his final days. I kinda want him to die. I think it'd be an interesting end to this character, not gonna lie. After everything. He's 64. Then we'd be ruling as a six year old child with half of our siblings hating us and wanting to take our throne. That'd be interesting. But, the game shall decide. Oh, look, support the way of St. James. Oh, this is cool. The way of St. James that goes to the Christian Holy Site of Santiago passes through my lands. These networks could, it's Majorca, uh, could also use infrastructural improvements. For example, I could fund road repairs so pilgrims travel efficiently or build hostels that could provide them shelter. Santiago de Compostela, it was a really historical, um, uh, what was it called, pilgrimage across northern Iberia. Uh, it's still used to this day. What was behind only Jerusalem and Roman importance is a pilgrimage site in Western medieval Europe. Because travel was quite dangerous with illness, robbery, and even death as constant threats to pilgrims, the various routes of Santiago, known as the Way of St. James, were supported by a network of roads, hostels, and more to provide pilgrims with much needed safety and comfort as they trekked across Iberia. Yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll support it. Yeah, hell yeah, we'll do that. That's cool. The whip falls upon my back and I shudder at the clarity it brings. Pain is all I feel. The pain is all that is on my mind. Oh, our physician dealt with it. Wonderful. We've got these goat physicians, I tell you. That's something else. Battle axe is low. You know what we're going to do with this battle axe? As a show of power against the heathen with the Seljuks. That's not the Sel. That's not the Seljuks! That's not the fucking Seljuks! Oh no. I thought that was the Seljuks. That's not the. Mm. Oh god. Anyway, I'll finish this, then we're gonna deal with that. As a show of power against the Muslims who have been mostly conquered by devils. Uh, we're gonna send the Emir Battleaxe to the Caliph of, uh, of, of the Fatmids as, as a show of power against them. Okay, so this is the Mongols. This isn't the Seljuks. Oh God. Last we looked, they just had this. Now, they conquered the, all of the Seljuks. Since I've been married off to the vile Duke Yon Gyaru of Barcelona, my days have been filled with nothing but misery. In particular, he seems to take great pleasure in other people's suffering. Is he sadistic? 
No, he's irritable. Stubborn. Uh, even his subjects are terrorists. I feel for my safety here. Please, don't forget about your devoted daughter. We're gonna, we're gonna try and deal with it. Oh, shit. He became a... He abused our, our daughter, so he's our rival now. Damn, we fought in a crusade together, too. But anyway. The Mongols are fucking huge. Oh, no. Timujin. No, it's not Timujin. It's Ogadai. Timujin died. It's Ogadai Khan, who is apparently incestuous. He's diligent, just, gregarious, 38 prowess, but he is screwing apparently a sibling, so that's unfortunately. Gross. Wow. And we died. And we died. That is a good place to end for today, I think. I'm going to take a break before the Vicky 3 game. There's a little bit of time, and I'm going to go make some lunch. I could continue it right now, but we're going to leave it here because I think that's more fun. Yeah. All right. King Alessandro the second. Hold on. We need a good music for this. Where's the good music? I'm going to play the good song. Where is it? We're going to play the theme song for this playthrough. That's what we're going to do. King Alessandro II, our Sardinia Corsica rests in the arms of the Lord at 65 years of age. He died an old man, a zealous man. He fought for the glory of God against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars in recent history. King Solomon ascends to the throne, merely seven years old. He will need to rely on the council during his years of rule. Our heir has a court that probably hates him. He only has his mother for support. The mother we married when we were 54. We were we are being taught by the Pope in Rome and back home in Sardinia. Who knows what is going on? In the West, our aunt is being abused by the Duke of Barcelona. Further west, our cousin, the King of Andalusia, has no children and is growing older very quick. Our dynasty could die there. And in the East, the Mongols are pushing harder and harder west. Devils everywhere and Prester John is nowhere in sight. And with that, we will bring an end to this stream. All right, this will continue next Sunday, next Sunday morning, same time. I'll have the YouTube videos out for this, probably Saturday or Sunday. And I will be back streaming in around an hour for some Vicky 3 roleplay as Prussia. We will end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you soon.